Hello, hello, D class. I am here with my friends. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on, it's doing that thing again. Oh no. In traffic. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Does it work now? Hey, it works now. They, they can, they can see us. Hey. Yay. I was seeing with my friends, Doctor Rattler, High Priest of the Telioilet, and Penguin Lesbian. You could call me by my actual name. <laughs> no. It's like you're in a casual situation with someone who just so happens to be a cardinal. All <laughs> right, so we've got we've got uh Jerry, uh we've we've got uh the Dragon Lord and we've got Cardinal. <laughs> like, bitch, I have a name. <laughs> no, no, no. You are obviously your legal name has obviously been changed to High Priest of Telioilet. I'm going to harm you. <laughs> or to smell well, like gulag. There, hatchet, hatchet. There is no way that you could hurt me in a way that matters. You're a fungus. Actually, that <laughs> tracks. Anyway, we ready? There. Mm -hmm. SCP twelve thirty eight. It's a species of deep sea fish with no current taxonomic classification, morphologically similar to the Antarctic toothfish. SCP-1238 resides principally in deep waters in the northern Pacific Ocean along the northwestern American and western Canadian coastlines. Adult SCP-1238 specimens measure on average 1.4 meters in length and weigh 100 to 110 kilograms. SCP-1238 is not suitable for human consumption due to the large concentrations of toxic minerals consumed by the fish, and are not currently fished for in any significant quantity or exploited by human industry for any significant purpose. During most of its life cycle, SCP-1238 specimens subsist primarily on a diet of smaller fish and other small aquatic animals. During spawning season, which lasts from approximately early April to mid-July each year, a secondary digestive tract of mature SCP-1238 specimens be become active, allowing the fish to digest and metabolize inorganic minerals and metals, particularly deposits of metamorphic rock located below a region of the northwestern United States and southwestern Canada designated the Gold Zone. During spawning season, SCP-1238 will gather en masse at specific sites along the ocean floor and begin a process of tunneling under and through the continental shelf, widening and expanding the tunnel as a result of their consuming and existing the existing rock. During spawning season, an adult SCP-1238 fish can consume and metabolize approximately 120% of its body mass and minerals within a 24-hour period. SP-1238 produces a little water matter during the stage. Volume of weight excreted is approximately 10% of that consumed. Tunnels produced by SP-1238 in this manner become the spawning grounds in which SP-1238 eggs are laid and fertilized. A female SP-1238 fish is capable of laying up to 40,000 eggs each within a season, of which approximately 25 to 35 percent will survive to adulthood under the current conditions. SP-1238-8 hatchings reach maturity after approximately 10 years and have been documented to live to approximately 35 years in the wild. SP-1238 specimens almost always return to the tunnel in which they were born in in order to spawn with tens of thousands of individual specimens involved in a digging a single tunnel. SP-1238 will continue to expand on, on a specific tunnel, occasionally forming branching tunnels until natural phenomena causes the tunnel to collapse. Population growth results in excessive competition for resources or a food supply becomes inadequate. Individual SP-1238 tunnels have been documented to extend as far as redacted kilometers from the starting point and as deep as redacted kilometers below, below sea level. Yeah. 
fish. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so... Maybe it's because I'm distracted by game, but... Did, did it say anything about them being harmful to anyone? Well, they're con just... constantly digging underneath the continental shelf and burrowing further and further and further in. That does seem like a problem. Are they quick at it, though? That, that, that's... They can go 120% of their own body mass th uh, through that shelf in within 24 hours. I, uh, due to math. Because <laughs> I don't know mm -hmm. how much that is. Well, we would kind of need to know their body mass. I, I, oh. 1.4 meters in length and weigh 100 to 110 kilograms. That's a big fish. So, probably world ending. If the. Well, I, not world ending, but like continental? Maybe world ending. I don't know. I, Depends on like. Hold on. What, have, what we have count to. as world end ending. I don't see how they're going to cause any harm. Like the worst, like the worst case scenario I can think of is they cause some earthquakes. But oh, even then, like if Hold they on. just they, there's something from the O five. I didn't okay. see it because it was like really bright red. Oh, it, red okay. Stand out, not blend in. Basically, uh, it shows a map. It says map of northwestern United States and western Canada depicting approximately projected flooding as a result of events. 638MU34 Global sea level adjusted as a result of flooding not represented. And it looks like most of California and everything hold on, I can I can send a picture. Hold on. Is Florida safe? It's near it's near Canada, United States area. So Florida safe? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Florida, doesn't Florida flood anyway? All right. Uh, go to stream planning. That's how much they believe the damage would be if they keep going at it. I okay. So it's not as bad as I thought it was would be. Even then, I don't. I real. I don't see. Wait, okay, so are they living underneath? They're living around that area, but every time breeding season happens, they dig these big-ass tunnels until they collapse. And then go to ones that, like, don't collapse and lay eggs and fertilize the eggs. That's basically what they do. I guess I'm just, I'm trying to wrap my head around how that makes sense. Like, okay, they, they dig these tunnels. These tunnels collapse. Is it saying that those tunnels collapsing could somehow cause this flooding? I believe that's what it is, yeah. So it's then there... It's just sometimes it collapses. Oh wait, hold on. There's a paragraph under the map. Damage to these tunnels has resulted in an increasing number of sinkholes and other anomalous phenomena on the surface, including the alleged bottomless sinkhole referred to as Mel's Hole. Peter Mullane indicates that the collapse of one of the larger tunnels or a major earthquake resulting along the redacted or redacted fault lines could potentially cause a chain reaction, ultimately resulting in a complete collapse of the tunnel network. The partial collapse of the continental shelf and a permanent flooding of a large area of the gold zone by the Pacific Ocean to depths to up to redacted meters. If SB 1238 timeline continues to accelerate at current rates, our models predict a high probability of event 638MU-34 occurring no later than 20 redacted. Even if all SB 1238 timeline were to cease immediately, a high probability remains of event 638-MU-34 occurring within the next redacted years. Okay, so now, okay. So it's not that 
just the tunnels that they build occasionally collapse and cause this. It's the fact that if if something causes all of the tunnels to yeah. collapse, okay, and it will lead devastating effects. Yeah. What well, like that needs to be fishing season on them soon? Well, seeing what how they're doing? they eat toxic shit, no no one can eat them. Well, yeah, just because you fish them doesn't mean you eat them. There are lots of uh, things that are fished or hunted that can't be eaten that are done for ecological reasons. Like, well, I can't eat this, but... So you, you, are you saying the SCP Foundation needs to kill them? Make them neutralized? Yeah. yeah. It's not the you first time they did it. Huh? It's not the first time they've done it to an SCP. Well, At yeah, the same time, but... this is... At the same time, this is just animals doing what they do. Like, they're most very of the time, large. Like most of the time, to my knowledge, when, uh, like they purposefully just kill off animals like that that they can't use otherwise, it's because it's an invasive species that's harming the ecosystem. These guys are just doing what they do, which. Is, could lead to like, devastating effects if there was an earthquake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could. But at the same time, guess I, I can think of another animal that's led to devastating effects for the entire Earth. Does that mean that we kill all of said animal? You say human? Yes. <laughs> just, be, just because an animal can potentially cause harm doesn't mean that they should be killed off. I'm a large enough risk to humanity so, humanity to be killed. Where are we thinking of putting it? As far as like where it goes? I mean Yeah, I think it's fair to put it at continent considering that that's like or well country. Yeah. It's gonna it's like it's like in between I would city say and continent country. since most of the continent would go under if if the worst happened. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's... like given the graph that they're showing, like it's just it's just taking a chunk out of north out of North America. And partially in Canada Canada. That's North America is the continent. Oh. I I, I thought you, I I thought I only heard America and I was like, yeah, and no. <laughs> Yeah, so like I, I think it would belong somewhere between city and country. And since it's yeah. really big, I would put it in country. Wait, where did I put it? I have, <laughs> okay. I have a question. Global fleet. By the way, real quick. As a result of flooding, not mm -hmm. represented. That means it wouldn't just be that that continent affected. It would be all the continents affected. Well, yeah, but it's not going to destroy all of the continents. No, like, but it's going to destroy more than a continent's worth of landmass. I don't, I don't follow that. Well, I don't see a how lot it could be areas that. in different continents that all it needs is a little more water raised to literally put everything underwater. Oh, okay. This isn't like these things aren't actually raising the water levels. Like that that's just sounding like global warming. I swear if global warming is one of the key to class of CPs. It may as well be. <laughs> like, like this this isn't causing sea levels to rise. It's just there's this particular rock eating fish that lives in this particular region that burrows and if those burrows collapse a lot of flooding is going to happen because a large area of land collapses like they're, they're fish they're not going anywhere super super quickly and they specifically live in a very particular environment the words that made me think that might affect this the sea levels was uh, global sea level adjustment as a result of flooding not represented. Well, yeah, but that would imply that the sea level of the Earth goes down. 
because an area that wasn't previously covered in water is now spontaneously a big ass hole where water flows into. Hey, Hatchet, I want to tell you something. I decided mm -hmm. to look up if global warming's an SCP. I guess it is. It has not been created yet. Ah. Uh, <gasps> so it needs to get on that. I, think, I mean, I right like now global the global warming. I mean, right now the theme is human nature. That'd be pretty oh. good chance. Or just nature in general, like all forms. Just of nature, nature in general. Yeah, all forms Does of nature. Does that mean I could make a penguin and SCP? There's a couple of those. And yes, you could. But yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm sticking with my, uh, country verdict. Guessing penguin did not know there are penguin SCP. No. <laughs> so we part... need to do a penguin stream of uh, right. as a penguin and uh, SCP stream. By the way, Bright, you haven't started streaming in Discord. Oh, I thought you. I have been started streaming in general. I was like, oh. <laughs> no, you started you streaming. I know to. I know to reload fucking. Push. It's stupid and doesn't immediately pop up. Oh gosh, damn it! Hold on. What? Though, to be entirely clear, if I had my way, this fish would just be in spoon tier because it's a, it, they're, they're just doing their thing. They're just eating the rocks. Hmm. Uh, the well, yeah, technically, you could destroy a country. We could also put it in spoon tier. I feel I, like if spoon was given the resources, spoon could destroy a country. But what I'm meaning is, like, the damage that they cause is a byproduct of them just doing their thing. They're like they they aren't malevolent. Yeah, like th these guys aren't malevolent. They're they're just fish. They're just doing their thing. For now. Okay, I couldn't see my mouse the entire time because I had one, I had multiple Google Chrome's open. Nah. So now I should be able to see my mouse. Yeah, I can see my mouse. Yay. I hate that it does that. Also, I, oh. I just noticed, Penguin, that you changed your Discord icon to be Pengu. Wait, you want to know what's funny? If I keep talking, you want to see what happens oh, to the Pengu? Damn it. I hate it. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. If what? I just keep talking like this, watch, 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 watch. Oh. <laughs> What? I mean, you could have just clicked on my profile and it would have kept playing the animation, but... <laughs> Why does it do that? That's a pain. That's the, the worst part is, is, I know the sound. Yeah, the worst part is, is I know the sound that goes with the animation. And I just, I can hear the music that plays when the face shows up. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Uh, the music that plays is specifically from uh, one of the... Uh, Dark Souls games. You ready for the next SCP? Yep. Sure. All right. SCP-1262 is a mass roughly 30 centimeters in diameter that is made of, of, of a green plant matter capable of, of highly accelerated growth when left in the presence of light, moisture, or organic tissue. Its surface area is composed of a dense covering of thin roots. These roots can spread outwards by growth and movement at a rate of 0 0.22 meters per second. SCP-1262's roots can reach up to a kilometer in length in order to seek water and mineral nourishment from the surrounding environment or from other living organisms. SCP-1262 has a rapid regenerative ability, which makes it difficult to eradicate. SCP-1262 also has an innate resistance to most types of radiation, extreme temperatures, and extreme pressures. However, extreme temperature or large amounts of aggressive herbicides seem to be the most effective suppression methods. Currently, there is no known method to fully exterminate SCP-1262. If left unchecked, SCP-1262 will grow to a form uh, complex structures. These structures are supported by hardened cellulose fiber and lignin wax, but 
formed in hexagonal patterns. These structures also include defensive slash offensive, uh, offensive biological mechanic mechanisms that range anywhere from pneumatically discharged calcium carbonate fleshites to hallucinogenic fume releasing pods. Inside these structures, SB1262 is able to produce many independently functioning organic systems for capturing and converting the ambient environment on an enormous scale. And yeah. And they've got some incidents. Oh. If you would like. Murder incidents? Tell us. Oh my gosh, I... one was on my birthday. Hell yeah. Right. What did you do? Is this a giant? Is this well, the year is different? Like really bad. The year is different, but yeah, it was a little different. Anyway, April twelfth, twenty ten. Doctor Redacted and his assistant were collecting samples on the. Okay, I want to stop for a second because I want to ask how the fuck do I say this without butchering it? I'm typing it in stream planning. That's the name they gave. Uh, it looks like someone just oh. hit their head with, on a keyboard. <laughs> what? How do I see that? Keyboard smash. I mean, it probably is German, but... Hey, Jeff, y'all, uh... I'm gonna look it up. What the yeah, okay, it's... I was thinking... With, okay, with refer that amount to them... Of... Refer huh? to them as E15. E15? What the fuck is that? Yeah, I looked up the thing, and apparently it's like an ice cap in Iceland that also goes by E15, so just call them E15. Well, okay, I guess it has a second name. That makes it easier. Oh. oh. Wait, wait. What was that? Oh. Can I select slow? Aya flat lie yoko. Yeah, that's that's uh that's Scandinavian. Uh yes. I yes, said it was from Iceland. It, it literally means ice cap. Okay. So uh, Dragon's is not wrong. That's what the ice cap's name is. Yeah, as, ice as cap, old. yeah. It's named as ice cap. All right. As I had been trying to friggin' say. Don't believe me. Oh. Yeah, sorry, Hash. No, I was, I was, I was saying it was likely a Nordic name. Oh wait, I just see what's next to that word. It says ice cap in Iceland. <laughs> Good job, right? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to reading the incident. Samples on the E15 ice cap in Iceland when they inadvertently unearthed SP1262 from the dense ice. Dr. Redacted asked his assistant to retrieve it. As the assistant came into physical contact with SP-1262, he was quickly engulfed and absorbed by aggressive overgrowth resulting in death within seconds. Dr. Redacted escaped back to his vehicle and reported to local authorities. Local law enforcement arrived hours later to find a thick tree-like structure growing. Three of the officers were entangled and absorbed by roots underneath them and Another was killed by toxic, toxic aerosol. The only surviving individual did not report the incident, but fled the country. Instead, where he was later detained overseas. SP-1262 grew substantially and virtually unnoticed for the next 12 hours. April 13th, 2010. By 4 a.m., SP-1262 had grown into a hardened cellulose space structure covering almost 20,000 meters squared with the three prominent towers roughly 100 meters tall. At the base, a collection of gaseous bladders, each inflating and deflating independently, were scattered around the center mass along the thick roots that penetrated deep into the ice. The structure was, <laughs> was processing ambient air and other nutrients into heated carbon monoxide which was being exhaled out of the structure's towers as thick clouds. Two nearby towns evacuated after 50 people died from in inha inhalation. By 12.30 p.m., two more towers had sprouted in 
and the entire structure had increased in size by 160%. SCP Foundation was then notified and a perimeter slash media blackout was established to protect civilians. Mobile Task Force Sigma-9, aka Valkyries, was called in with level 5 clearance to lay down suppressing fire around SCP-1262 using air-to-ground bunker busters with redacted warheads. April 14, 2010 First volley of airstrike began at 1 a.m. and was successful in penetrating ice cap over the dormant volcano. SCP-1262 became trapped in the collapsing caldera for a short while. During that time, three aircraft were destroyed by SCP-1262. The second volley was aimed directly at the center mass of the structure. The subsequent explosions were able to destabilize the volcano underneath and to the point of triggering, triggering a violent eruption as planned. A final airstrike of bombing raids was made in the surrounding areas of the E-15 ice cap, effectively demolishing the towns of Redacted and Redacted, along with Redacted of Witnesses, Redacted Campsite. The entire site was closely monitored to ensure that it had been successfully incinerated in the eruption. All pu public knowledge of the incident was expunged and the airspace of 20 nearby centuries were subsequently closed off until further notice, until at atmosphere ash samples confirmed a complete neutralization. Redacted Flight Redacted crashed into an isolated area of Greenland while traveling from Reykjavik, Iceland, intercepted transmissions before the crash gave a strong indication that SV-1262 was involved. Upon further investigation of the wreckage, the tail section, which had broken off in mid-air, was found covered in SV-1262's overgrowth, still in the early stages of development. SV-1262 was quickly suppressed and its surrounding layers of growth stripped off. SV-1262 was then taken directly to Area 33 for indefinite storage. So this thing can cause a lot of damage. I guess my first thought is, is there any limit to its, uh, to its growth? No. Like this thing can just grow oh. indefinitely. As long as it gets its nutrients and water and everything, it can keep growing. Yeah, so okay, that's an ending. I doubt that it could cross bodies of water. It would probably very easily take over Iceland. Fair point. In other words, Iceland's toast, so country. Yeah. It... And it probably caused quite a few problems considering how much methane or not methane, um carbon monoxide it would be. Belching yeah. into the atmosphere. What you... Oh, possibly world ending. I I don't think it'd be world ending, but mm. we're already destroying our atmosphere as we as we do it, dragon. As we speak. Yep. Mm. Wait, what is Jerry's thoughts on SCP? We didn't hear Jerry's thoughts. I don't think Jerry had any. Sorry, I missed the whole SCP because my <laughs> teeth are very sensitive right now. Ah. Uh, what? And I eat things with small little bits. Basically, it's a plant. As long as it gets its nutrients, it'll keep like growing, and it shoots out carbon monoxide. Oh. It is. It is currently in Iceland. Currently in Iceland. Ow. Well, you know what? Iceland may be its own on its own continental shelf thing, but well, I guess now nothing's on the continent shelf pretty soon. Oh uh, yeah, and cheery. Uh it's resistant to most types of radiation, extreme temperatures, and extreme pressures. Well, they're screwed. Yeah, I say country. country. Yeah, because cause I, I don't see this thing, like, it's probably, like, if it got to that size, it would probably negatively affect most places around it. But the only people that are really, really screwed by this thing are all those Icelandic people, unfortunately. Think about what would happen if it, it was in China. 
Oh dear God! <laughs> Everything would be there. fucked because not only is okay. The thing is though, China isn't just on itself, like by itself, like uh, Iceland is. China. So that means the several continents would be fucked. China is connected to Russia, and Russia yeah. is connected to many other places. Japan no. is its own little self, I think. Yeah, it's not. Connected. Well, yeah, but it's like comparably a pretty small body of water between Japan and China to Iceland to anything else. Yeah. This also my raises per- several other questions my- on if it can, like, spread seeds onto, like, people's stuff if they were to travel out of the country. Uh, Technically, it just can- did. In, in the instant report, it said it got a part of it was on a plane and it broke, forced the plane off, off of it. With the tail. Horrifying. Yeah, it did. It, it, Trek. Uh oh. But, oh yeah, Cheery. One of its nutrients is organic things, like it'll attack people. That's why I said China. Because it would grow pretty quickly there. Technically, China doesn't have the most people in the world anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't it yeah. India? Yeah, I, was yeah, say. I would have to say that was honestly an inevitability with how they treat women. If you have next to no women in your country, eventually you're going to have a population dip and others will rise above you. Oh, so do they, do they no longer have the world's largest army? I have no idea. I'd imagine they still the have that. Right. So we're all in agreement with country because Iceland is basically fucked. Yeah. This would be much, <laughs> much worse if it showed up almost anywhere else. Except for maybe Siberia. Oh, this is the question. Oh, sorry. This like also raises the question on if anyone would miss um if, if anyone would miss Iceland. We're talking about thousands or millions of people dying. Wait, how many people live on Iceland? A lot. Why is the to pop- keep intruders like... away? It's green and alive. Yeah, it has some of the world's best honey on it. And Not to mention the volcano. Iceland, Iceland doesn't have millions. According to twenty twenty, Iceland only has like three hundred thousand. If not like by now, probably four hundred thousand. Okay then. It, it a lot of them are probably dead. <laughs> Not a lot of them. Almost all of them. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> they're all. They've all been sacrificed to the plant. <laughs> <laughs> so, if this plant took over Iceland, would they have to officially become part of Greenland? <laughs> <laughs> what if the What if the plant was just? Was just upset about being in Iceland and not Greenland. <laughs> Which is ironic because the exact the, it is the exact opposite reason why Greenland was called Greenland. They yeah. called Iceland Iceland to get people to go there less. They called Greenland Greenland to get people to go there more, even though they're basically like j- just false advertising. Yeah. Just like America. In Greenland, it's basically an island of ice. Yeah, like, like, it's, it, it's like, almost nothing but ice up there. Mm. Like, I, I would, I think the best way to put it is Greenland is what Americans think of when uh, they say Canada. <laughs> like, thinking about super cold, constantly dark areas, that's Greenland. It's not just Canada. <laughs> Anyway. Greenland could be described as ice, like if the ice melted, is there at, how much land is actually under it? I don't know. Yeah, see? And can can I eat Greenland? Is Greenland ed- edible? No. I want to eat no. some of it. I want my yeah. goal in life. My goal in life is to eat some of the snow in Greenland. And only Greenland. I want to eat some oh of the my snow. Gosh. You have money in the world, and you're like, 
No, I want to destroy it. Anyway. I want to eat only the purest of snow from Greenland. Anyway. The There's next no SCP. I feel like maybe maybe Antarctica would have better snow. Or Australia. The next SCP. Yep, anyway. I like Australia. Oh. Dragon Hush. Mm. Next SCP is SCP-1264. SCP-1264 is an amalgamation of once derelict warships and various pieces of float sand slash chest sand that have been adhered together by organic secretions. The main body of SCP-1264 is made of five WW-2 era warships that were used as target ships as part of the Operation Crossroads atomic bomb test performed at the Bikini Atoll in 1946. The following ships that made up of SCP-1264 were confirmed to have sunk after these tests. U USS Saratoga, uh, Lexington class aircraft character carrier, Nagato Nagato class dragnaut, Prince Eugen, Admiral Hip Hipper class heavy cruiser, USS Lamson, Mahan class destroyer, USS Apagon, Balo class submarine. Various secretions of a yard oiler. Survey reports of the wreckage performed at the Bikini Atoll in 1954 showed a, a number of sunk ships missing from the lagoon. In response, the U.S. Navy built and sunk several dummy ships in their place in order to cover up any evidence of the missing original ships. The U.S. government then initiated Operation Castle under the guise of nuclear testing but was actually intended for the purpose of creating su sufficient nuclear fallout as to make the Bikini Atoll area inhabitable. SV-1264 was first documented on January 30, 1959, 56 kilometers south of Cape Farewell, Greenland, when it engaged and sunk the MS Hans Hedtoff during its maiden voyage. SCP-1264 shows a only moderate corrosion and damage in in contraction of U.S. Navy records on individual ships, the centerpiece of SB-1264 is an aircraft carrier with several large jib cranes attached to, to its deck. The other ships are fastened to the sides as a centerpiece by means of hardened secretions. All the ships are missing their su superstructure or coning towers. Other float sam and jet sam have been attached to fill in empty spaces between the ships and roughly make up 12% of the SCP-1264's total mass. SCP-1264 is armed SCP-1264 is armed with various pieces of artillery for torpedoes, AA guns, and depth charges. However, only several pieces of artillery have ever been seen in use, which indicates that either the remaining are non-operational or are or they are insufficient resources to operate them. SV-1264 spends most of its time underwater as a submersible above the water. SV-1264 is capable of speeds up to 31 knots. SV-1264 is maintained by a crew that has been designated SV-1264-A, each fit inside a U.S. Navy standard rubber driving dress and are equipped with Mark V diving helmet and weighing boots. SV-1264-A are headless humanoid entities closely related to sea cucumbers. SCP-1264-A are also connected by a flexible arterial cord through 90 meters long that is, turn, that is in turn connected to SV-1264's interior. SV-1264-A displays a deep understanding of 1264's mechanical and electrical systems. SV-1264-A officially performs repairs and maintenance with what is available within their designated areas. SV-1264-A are characteristically slow, obstinate, and exhibit no real intelligence of their own. SV-1264-A also secrete a strong adhesive through their gloves that act as waterproof salient, binder, filler, and cement in order to maintain the structural integrity and buoyancy of SV-1264. All of 
SB1264 steerage and weapon systems are operated by SB1264-A. In turn, SB1264-A is commanded by a single entity designated SCP-1264-1. SCP-1264-1's appearance is unknown, and the only physical evidence of SCP-1264-1's existence are the arterial cords that connect SCP-1264-A to the ship's interior. These cords are aligned with strands of neural tissue that do not originate from SCP-1264-A. This indicates that SCP-1264-A is directly connected to a separate biological entity, or that SP-1264-1 is actually a, the collective consciousness of SP-1264-A. SP-1264-1 has proven on numerous occasions to be a hostile, hostile and skillful tactician of naval warfare. SP-1264-1 has been reported in some cases to transmit radio signals via ELF radio. To date, SV-1264-1 has engaged redacted civilian and military vehicles and has sunk redacted of them. Though, SV-1264-1 has shown a preference of, for passenger ships over other vessels. After the destruction of a vessel, SV-1264-A will then throw fishing nets on top of the survivors floating in the water. These nets are attached to, to the hull of the sinking vessel or to anchor so that it will drag down the net and its contents. Post-incident recovery teams who use submersibles are unable to locate any corpses underwater after they are dragged to the bottom. In Redacted, SCP-1264 was involved in a protracted engagement with MTF Tau-11, aka can openers, and was effectively suppressed. In this impaired condition, SCP-1264 was then towed out under armed escort to its current containment area for indefinite detainment. Oh, hello, Jen Apple. Also, yeah, that's SCP-1264. Hmm. I was very focused on not getting shot by the police. Uh, I missed a lot of that. It's a collection of a bunch of U.S. ships. They were used in in the testing of Bikini Atoll. You know what that is? Well, I know what that is. I don't know what that is. It's the origin of Bikini Bottom. Oh... Uh... It was uh, one of the most notable nuclear disasters in more recent history. Yep. And then the U.S. created this SCP. Oh, wait, we lost Jerry. Yeah, I you, told you that. I, I said we lost a snake. Oh. How did you... Jerry says in what stream you... planning, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Leaves... The audible sound goes off. I didn't get a child... sound. Wait, what? How? I don't know. I think it's uh, because uh, Bright is probably in streamer mode. Uh, okay. Well, um, all that, all that said, uh, I I missed pretty much anything that has to do with like how much danger. It to people. Well, it constantly goes after ships, but its favorite kind is passenger ships. And basically, when it starts singing one, it throws a net over it so nothing can go up. No life. Mm. I see. And they think there's a hive mind in there because there's a bunch of creatures. Hold on, let me see what they resemble. Uh, da, da, da. They. They're each fit with it, and they each fit inside a U.S. Navy standard rubber dry, diving dress and are equipped with a Mark V diving helmet and weighted boots. SCP-1264-A are headless humanoid entities closely related to sea cucumbers. Yeah, I mean, so uh, I'd can, say certain um, groups. Yeah. Yeah. Like, as long as you're not on a certain type of ship, you're fine. 
Yeah, just no, don't they, just, they just don't attack hurt. all ships they see. It's just they they like passenger ships more. <laughs> In other words, just don't take a visit. Just don't don't take a ride to Bikini Atoll and you go. Oh no, they've been going to other it... places. Like it. Oh, it, okay, it it's around. it's been spotted in Greenland. <laughs> that's that's it's... that's on the other side of the goddamn planet. Okay. <laughs> Why is it always Greenland and Iceland that are being <laughs> fucked over? Someone, someone who keeps writing these articles really does not like those two countries. <laughs> We just read an SCP about Iceland, and now <laughs> we're going to Greenland. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, they are neighbors. What the fuck is sugar alcohol? What? Alcohol that has something to do with sugar, maybe? Why does gum have sugar alcohol? I don't know. Either way, yeah, certain groups, because like mm. it's only going after people and ships. Just don't go on a ship. Yeah, mm. don't just don't be a person on a ship. Yeah. Yeah, they the the last encounter it had with a ship was it going after an MTF team. <laughs> like yeah. that was gonna do good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next SCP is the Silent Bandit, or also known as SCP-1275. SCP-1275 is a fluid, amorphous entity of variable volume, shape, color, and opacity. Absurd volumes of material composing the entity have ranged from one centimeter cubed max minimum to a maximum of thirty meters cubed. It is effective by, affected by gravity and cannot pass through solid materials, yet registers no weight on instru instruments regardless of its current size. Parts separated from the main body appear to flow extra-dimensionally back to it, making sample tests unfeasible. It is not chemically re reactive, shows no changes with variations in temperature, it is not electrically conductive and returns no tactical sensation. Due to these properties, SCP-1275 is theorized not to exist fully within the material world. The entity is capable of forming itself into any shape, including flattening to 0 0.01 mil millimeters thickness, spooling into a threaded form, or taking on the shape, color, or opacity of objects around it. If free, it attempts to envelop objects such as classified documents, SCP artifacts, or Foundation personnel. Upon developing an object, it will turn op opaque and rapidly decrease in size, while the object env developed will disappear from, it from the inside. On occasion, it will attempt to disgorge explosives, weaponry, anomalous objects, and hostile agents in order to breach its containment. Observed behavior patterns indicate it to be intelligent and or controlled by an outside intelligence. It is proven capable of breaching all but the most stringent of security measures, pressuring its way through minor flaws and seals thought to be an air and or watertight, moving through its air ducts and electrical systems under carpet or tile or flowing slowly through loose materials such as dirt or sand. It attempts to avoid observation by blending in with its surroundings and remaining motionless. If noticed, it will move quickly and attempt to envelop personnel before they can raise an alarm. Objects, have per objects and personnel enveloped were originally believed to be consumed, digested, and converted into energy. However, its capacity for flowing back to, its to it itself when separated and the emergence of objects suggests that it may have the second section elsewhere in the world that it moves portions of itself between. This would account for its fluctuations in volume and the disappearance of objects from within it. If this is the case, then the entity appears unable to pull the portion of itself held by the Foundation through the, others, through the other side. It is theorized that either this is the primary half, or that it naturally has a divided existence. 
attempts to initially send equipment back through SB-1275 have failed. Objects the entity d does not wish to transport remain, even if forcefully inserted. Evidence strongly suggests that the entity sides with or is controlled by a hostile organization and that they are attempting to retrieve it. Due to the potential for theft of SB artifacts and personnel, this is to be prevented by any means necessary. So this is just a piece of shit that's attacking the Foundation. It's just amorphous blob goo that doesn't like the SCP Foundation. How unfortunate. Honestly, that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. So hey, I guess I... Oh, also, hey, Adurna. Yeah, hey, Adurna. Oh. Adurna! Oh, right. you, you left the Foundation, what do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, I did leave the Foundation. But it's not with a serpent's hand. Chaos Insurgency, most likely. Or the GOC. In a way, um... In terms of... Uh, like, its danger level? Uh... I, I guess my biggest issue is that there's just so many goddamn unknowns. Like, it, it doesn't affect things super heavily, except for specifically things that have to do with the SCP Foundation. Now, does that mean that it intends to, say, do something like uh, release dangerous SCPs or get them into the hands of people who would try to use them? Wait, or hold on. Responsible? I was looking at the instant reports. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, March... 2nd, 2005, hostile agents armed with anomalous weaponry emerged from within SB-1275 and rapidly attempted to set up a base of operations within the containment cell. An attack was in in initiated against Foundation personnel. Containment on SB-1275 was breached shortly thereafter. Mobile task forces were sent in to engage in a recovered object. After a prolonged engagement, the enemy re agents retreated into SB-1275. So it's not just a, a glob uh, of goo; it's also a portal. Huh. Yeah, that much that much had been made clear. Either but way, who, was, who were those then? It does not say what enemy organization it is. It is unknown. So it could have literally been anyone. Could have been like a organization that was. Like trying to do it for good reasons through organization that try to do it for bad reasons. I guess my 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 biggest thought on like this thing's actual reasonable danger level ultimately comes down to okay. us not knowing enough to say how dangerous it is. Yeah, also uh this might help a bit, but how it was first discovered in the recovery log, um, it, it has been found trying to get into SCP-140's containment, which is a keter, and it's mm. the Chronicle of Davis. I do not know that one. Basically, it's a book uh, of satanic writing or something like that, and it, and it slowly... And it's been kills people who reads it as well as it mentally breaks people. Hmm. It is not a book <laughs> that, that should be taken. And it's also been uh, a result of loss of multiple SCPs in the recovery log. Hmm. When they found it. So multiple SCPs are gone. And we have no idea what the numbers are because they're redacted. So they could be so, Keter, since it's going after a Keter. Well, it could also not know what SCPs they are. That's true, but if it's intentionally going after a Keter, that's a problem. Well, it, it was implied that it's either being controlled by some outside force or has some level of intelligence. So it right. seems likely that it is intentionally going after a Keter. Yeah. 
And that's the terrifying thought. Uh, that, that would be unless, like, it was trying to... This actually to sounds work. heavily like the Chaos Insurgency. Mm. Cause that's what they like to do. They like to literally cause as much destruction as possible to the Foundation. And what to do it more? Take their Keters and use them against them. Mm. Like it's... <sighs> But that's just a theory. We have no idea what enemy organization it is. Either way, the the sheer fact that they're going after Keters, I think, is enough. Uh, I think that this logically could be ZK. Brought right. to its logical extreme. Oh, imagine if it found out what the phrase was of that fra uh, oh, phrase SCP. If it takes that, <laughs> we are well, fucked. I can't. Well, it can't take a phrase, but yeah. Well, it, I think out. it's written down in a containment. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Why do we have that written down? <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> Scrub all How references of it. Um, I get to me. Well, they they could they could potentially just um just black it out and shit. Right. But they also... Just redact uh, it? Like, yeah. redact the fucking shit? Yeah, they also... uh, You also have to mention this hatchet. The GOC is using that SCP as a weapon. So they also probably have it written down. <laughs> yeah. Great. So it's not just the SCP Foundation who has it. This GOC, too. <laughs> so if it goes to the GOC... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Everything strength. is perfectly balanced. And I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that the GOC is probably like worse than the SCP Foundation with that shit. They're objectively worse, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But like well like worse with the like keeping stuff like safe and everything. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, uh Aderna. They shot and killed a twelve-year-old because they can make objects invisible. Oh no, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about how bad they are as like an organization. <laughs> I'm talking. Okay, I'm talking how bad they are with organizing and yeah. stuff and everything. Considering like, the fact that the SCP Foundation is bad at it, but I bet they're worse. It's like <laughs> slightly bad at it. They're. I guess they're okay. At it, they're not. They're not good at it. They do a decent job for a fictional organization that's entirely run by randos on the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what are we thinking of placing this piece of shit? I, uh, I think I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna say a ZK. When I, I saw this picture of it, I thought, oh, this is probably just going to be an only one. Type of no, it's a major piece of shit. <laughs> this gelatinous blob very well could destroy the universe. <laughs> so Not it's just Kirby, but an out. SCP? Shut the fuck up. You know, I Am hate I how... I hate how accurate that statement was, so fuck you. <laughs> Egg fucking exactly fuck you. Fucking going around eating everything, god dang it. Stupid it's child. It's Corby. Oh, this... What the fuck do you play with Corby Dream? This SCP actually has a... a sad nickname. Mm. It's called... It's nickname mm. is The Sad Man. See. Anyway. Or B. SCP twelve. Right, oh, what, what is it? Oh, I was gonna say I need to go use the bathroom and get some coffee. Okay, hold on. Intermission. I tried to leave the stinking mission lobby and then the host instantly played it the second they got into it. So now I have to wait for the Dinkin' mission to launch so that I can fucking leave it. Alright. 
Well, this also gives me a chance to refill my water bottle. <laughs> I love Corby games. Mm, Corby. I can't believe Jerry doesn't like Kirby. I have an extreme um what's the word I'm thinking of? Lack of interest in Kirby. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I shall go. I'll be back soon. I am upset. <gasps> I don't care. Okay. Hamster or cat? I'm going cat. I love cat. We we yes. Kirby is you know being, is being rolled by a cat. All right. So I want to tell this. This is a story I've never told stream about my life. But since we're in a mission waiting for hatchet, I'll tell it. Hey. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask, have you told the penguin lesbian here of the teleoilet? Yes. <laughs> Don't tell me you're also with the teleoilets. No, I was just there when they were doing this shit. Yeah, but anyway, oh, on to the story. Alright, this is when I was eight years old. I really like the tastes of these uh, vitamin gummy bears. Oh no. So I saw that it was a newly bought, fully jarred full of gummy bears. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sneak this down into the basement and eat the entire bottle. What the fuck would you do that? Now, probably inside the bottle was probably roughly like 150 to 160 gummy bears. And you're only supposed to have like two a day. I hate the entire bottle. <laughs> I had 80 <laughs> times the usual dose, but I lived. I vomited a lot, but I lived. The fact that you're still alive to this day is a mystery. How the fuck? <laughs> Many people don't believe that How I actually did you? that, but I've done that. <laughs> It's a dumb child. How are you still alive? I don't know. But uh, on with that, um, like with the vitamin stuff. Mm -hmm. Whenever I actually try to eat the gummy bears, like nowadays, my body just rejects it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably because of what I did to myself in the past. <laughs> is it just the gummy, uh, like the vitamins, and or is it just like add everything that tastes like the vitamins? I think it's just the gu those gummy bears in like general, or, or like the vitamin gummies, which is why I like uh, drink sparkling water because it's it's vitamin water. That's mm. what it is. That's how I get my vitamins intake. I literally cannot. Eat the vitamin gummies because I did that as a child. And you think I'm a stupid child? <laughs> hey, I never said I wasn't stupid. Mm, you know what? I want to go to the bathroom, entertain the stream. Uh, Carby, 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 Carby. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. All praise, Corby. Corby, Corby. Corby, Kirby, Kirby, Corby. 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 Corby, Kirby, 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 I love Kirby. You can eat your friends! Oh 
and what have you. Wonder how Kirby was created. Wait, what did I miss? Kirby. H hey, Bright, how do you think Kirby was created? I kind of don't want to say. What the fuck do you mean by that? My first thought as soon as you said that was a, a fat child who ate too much. Right. <laughs> no. I don't know. I know what's in my mind. Did hey, you, actually, funnily enough, though, did you know Kirby is actually a god? I don't care. Oh, I care. Kirby is a god. I mean, I have played Kirby games, but so okay. I like Kirby games. Kirby, I, Kirby. I I think the last game of Kirby I played was Kirby's Epic Yarn. Ooh. That's one of the newer ones. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. And apparently, like, the newest one, uh, you fight, like, an eldritch abomination, and it literally, uh, the game itself got a literal rating of, I think it was, like, 3+, plus because, I'm quoting this, by the way, uh, because of, quote, fear. Oh. Like, the, the warning was straight up just fear. Because there's an Eldritch Abomination in the game. I'm just waiting for the new Pokemon game. Yeah, fair. And it's gonna arrive on my doorstep the day it releases. Nice. <laughs> Which version are you getting? I got both. I got the double pass. Oh. Yeah, because you have adult money, which means you can afford that. <laughs> Very responsible adult thing to do, honestly. I I know the f uh, my team's gonna be. I'm gonna choose the alligator so I can get the the plant thing that was shown in the trailer, as well as the chunk. Hmm. I must have the chunky honestly? boy. I hope LeChonk's evolution isn't ugly. Yeah. As long as he's still chunky, I don't care. <laughs> Apparently LeChonk is named after, like, an actual meal that is cooked, uh, from baby pigs. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a, it's a traditional, uh, meal. <laughs> Someone had dark somewhere. Hey kids, you like this you like this baby pig Pokemon? Guess what? Its name is a food dish of baby pigs. <laughs> oh shit. I just killed a cat girl. Can I consume cat girl? No. I consumed the cat girl. Yep. Kirby is now a cat girl. What the fuck is wrong with you? Several things. Next question. 
Why do you live? Uh, I didn't want to, but I was kind of forced into. So. <laughs> that sounded so mean. <laughs> I didn't. I was trying to think of something to say. In my, in my, that was the first thing my mind put in. I mean, it's a good question. <laughs> I mean, it's a good and fair question. Ooh, a fire boy. Ooh. Oh, dragon. Mm -hmm. You know what I started thinking? You know how mm -hmm. uh, when people do their debuts, or YouTubers and stuff like that, and they have that mm -hmm. backgrounds background and everything. I think I'm going to do uh, the serpent's hand like building like background like the wall and there's serpent hand symbols on it. Well, that's cool. Because I'm no longer with the foundation. I have breached containment and left. You cannot stop me. What did oh. I just come back to? Nothing. Uh, I just so? lit the bird on fire! No! <laughs> Why did you light bright on fire? Fuck you. I didn't mean to. That's I'm so not sorry good. I lit your cousin on fire. I hate you. Oh. When you wait, when you run, the, the bird runs too. I fucking love Kirby games. God damn it. Anyway, are you ready for uh, to do SCPs again or do we need more time? Fine, ready. No. But is your body ready? What the fuck? Penguin, no! It's a reference from Spongebob! <laughs> it, 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 that's... I think it's a reference from Spongebob. I don't I'm know. pretty sure it's not. Is it? No! I don't know. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it is! I'm pretty sure! I'd be, fairly, I'd be fairly willing to guess that it could be a reference to Spongebob. Because, like, outside of our generally dirty minds that's a fairly innocuous statement anyway i am it together bright obviously Epidermis you here. are the problem yeah they're typing in twitch chat uh oh wait i need to do something what give me a minute just gonna Oh, right sake. making war plans. What the fuck? No. Oh, here we go. The real question is when isn't Bright planning war like war plans? Planning war plans. I mean, I know there's a saying that says, Are you ready, Mr. Krabs? Anyway, I yeah. am com I am done. All I right. continue. Alright. As you can tell by looking into stream chat. Really, Dragon? I'm uh, not Dragon. Uh, gosh damn it. Ready? Really, Adurna? <laughs> really, Adurna? <laughs> dragon, damn, all things are your fault. <laughs> anyway. Damn, I didn't know I was, like, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Before I start, I want to do a, a Twitch announcement. Okay. Let's see. What day is it? What day is it? What day is it? Today is today. Hold on, I'm looking at a certain date. Mm -hmm. What are you? Can I eat you? Uh, the 18th. Uh, no, not the 18th. Uh, the 17th is not going to be SCP Minecraft <gasps> hard mode. Really, really? When I'm trying to say something cool, or... <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of S it's gonna be SCP hard mode, I'll put up a poll on what what no, uh, game you want me to do that could be sing that oh, single on. player that I have. It calm down, the dragon. Actually, I'll just make a channel and you guys pick. But uh, basically, um, 
I'm gonna be do a, doing a supathon that day. Um. I'll try to do that on most of my days that I'm off. And I am off all week. Ah. Damn. From this Thursday to next Thursday. Ye. When is and when is the next cards against humanity? The eighteenth. I really want to play cards. It's well, I One said day. single player game. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but I'm just like well, boy. I, I've been very much wanting to play that game. That's on the same day as my next therapy appointment. Oh. I guess oh. you have something interesting to tell your therapist. Yeah, you do. With all the shit I pulled. Well, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, enough with the announcement. On to the SCP. Oh yeah, able to do an announcement, join the Discord server, and uh, it don't it go into the channel. Wait, so are you gonna be putting it into the polls channel? No, it's gonna be a different channel, temporary channel. Like I did before for like the birthday stream. Oh, and that's where you're gonna put the poll for what game you're gonna do? Yeah. Gotcha. Anyway. All cleared up. How else can I interrupt you? Fuck off. SCP-1286 appears to be a plastic replica of the Fat Man atomic bomb. On the left of the hull is an acrylic drawing of a man frowning. Located in in the rear is a small loudspeaker attached to the object with duct tape. SCP-1286 occasionally communicates through this device. SCP-1286 claims to be a functioning explosive. SCP-1286 presents great difficulties to all personnel responsible for containment in the sense that it will constantly debate with staff as to why it, it should detonate. When, a, when approached, SCP-1286 will be begin rocking back and forth on its own volition. Containment personnel who have observed this report and filling them with a great sense of dread, although researchers are not sure as to whether or not this effect is hermetic or due to SCP-1286 apparent nature. Further testing is to be done with unbrief personnel. The only confirmed anomaly regarding uh, SCP-1286 is the tendency to, of personnel to, in charge of containment of SCP-1286 to gather around the life feed from SCP-1286 containment cell whenever the device begins rocking. How this is coordinated is not known, but is reported to be sudden and compulsive, causing extreme anxiety for those present in a small radius of, outside of SCP-1286 walls. SCP-1286 was discovered in the basement gallery of Redacted, an entertainment and art venue located in Manhattan, New York. Two agents intended opening an event. Sad man vis visits Chelsea with some friends. There with inside the word friends, the eyes is replaced with the number one. Due to the concern with specific te textual con content of posters and other advertisements displayed before the gallery's opening, after the exhibit opened, guests were ushered into the basement room containing SB-1286 by a guide wearing orange shorts and a bandana concealing the face. The figure's identity is not currently known, although it is believed to be the creator of SB-1286. The figure spoke through a small orange microphone. The voice was projected through a loudspeaker in SB-1286 hall with the various phrases such as, I'm just a sad little bomb, and tick, 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 bye. After the space of half an hour, the figure placed the microphone on the ground after which SB-1286 continued its phasing unaided. Addendum 1286-B, Session 23. The following was an exchange between SCP-1286 and Dr. Sanders. The conversation is typical. Doc, Doc, are you there? Yes, Jeffrey. You wanted to be called Jeffrey, correct? Yes, Doc. Can we talk? Of course, Jeffrey. I've been thinking about how I'm at a bomb, right? Yes, you appear to be an atomic bomb. I've been having an, what do you call it, existential crisis? I feel like I'm supposed to explode. I mean, I'm a bomb. 
It's normal for you to feel that way, Jeffrey, but let's be rational here. You might kill thousands upon thousands, and the fallout would kill even more. But that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm a bomb. I can feel it in my core. I mean, there... My trigger, it's cold, but it could be warm if I just flicked it. Jeffrey, we've been over this many times. If you keep spawning like this, we may have to disarm you. But you won't. You won't because if you come near me, I'll fucking do it. I'll blow you all up hell. Jeffrey, please. You'll kill a... Say I won't. SCP-1286 begins rocking back and forth slowly for, for a space of 15 minutes, occasionally tilting to an extent that would typically cause an object to, of such weight to fall over on its side. Seven site personnel observe with what appeared to be panic attacks and three personnel exhibit Cynocope sen during the event. And that's... And that's it of the SCP, but it also says the related group of interest that created this SCP is Are We Cool Yet? Does anyone know oh, who they are? Yeah, that's... Of course it's them. Who is it? Who's that? It's a group of anomalous artists. Damn. Yeah. They just create art that's anomalies. They they made like, they made. Okay, does that mean they themselves are SCPs if they have the ability to do that? Well, no. There's non, there's non anomalous people who yeah. have made SCPs. Yeah. Mm. So technically not. That said, um, I guess my first thought is, do we know for a fact that this is an actual bond? No. <laughs> Yeah, this could be just some, like, really piece of shit, like, thing that looks like a bomb, but just, like, that isn't a bomb. No, like, like, one, okay, this, this artist would have to have access to the means to make a nuclear warhead, which I hope I don't need to say, uh, that takes a lot of, uh, money, time, and resources to create. That said, if it's an anomalous bomb, then honestly anything could happen. But the main thing that I'm thinking of is why is this Keter? <laughs> is that if even a joke ability... either? Yeah, like it's not a joke SCP. Why is this a Keter? Like, <laughs> it, like by this logic, okay, so the ability to cause immense destruction with a nuclear bomb. Okay, almost every developed country on Earth is now a Keter class SCP. <laughs> the only thing that makes this special is that it that that it has an ex existential crisis constantly. Like besides Ooh. that, it's just it's it's just a hunk of metal that may or may not even actually be a bomb. Though it though <laughs> I will say its addendum was funny. <laughs> like he even said it's going through an existential crisis <laughs> yeah like <laughs> my point being I don't think that that like okay so let's say that it actually is a bomb yeah and if it's a fat boy or not a fat boy what is it a Batman. fat man yeah Batman. Batman okay so it's if it's actually like basically just the exact same thing as a fat man the, if y'all didn't know this, the Fat Man and Little Boy were also some of the most inefficient nuclear bombs that have ever been created. Like, they're still going to cause a shit ton of damage. I, I mean, I, I don't think I need to explain why that is the case, but, yeah. like, they could be a lot worse. And it's ultimately, not. like, the worst comes to worst. This is an actual bomb. This is a city level, at yeah. most, is what yeah. I'm trying to get at. I mean, it's and not even, like Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah, like that. That's a com. Yeah, it's like unbelievable. It's not like Chernobyl. Different. It's not like the fucking uh, Nagasaki uh, and Hiroshima, and we fucked them over. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, literally, what it would be. Oh, yeah, that yeah. is actually literally the, what it would be. The the fat man, oh. fat man, wasn't that the one dropped on Hiroshima? Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, I thought I it was think, a different bomb. Yeah, Fat Man. Okay, so Fat Man and Little Boy were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 
So they are that class of nuclear bomb. They're going to cause a lot of damage. But like I said, in terms of like nuclear warfare, they are actually highly inefficient. Yeah. It's just the side note I was putting in. Yeah. Point being, yeah. this isn't a Sarbamba. Um, this very likely isn't a fusion bomb. Like, and again, like, yeah. I seriously doubt, like, I, like, I think it's better safe than sorry. Like, treat it like it's an actual goddamn bomb. But I don't, I don't feel like it's, I, I really well, don't think it's a bomb. Well, it does have a anomalous property, which it gives people panic attacks and as well. Yeah, like, it, it, it makes people scared of it. It yeah. has an existential crisis. It looks like a goddamn bomb. It's a talking goddamn bomb. It's obviously an anomaly. <laughs> but okay, I have a drawing I idea. Wait, okay, wait, I, I wait. Okay, I want to, I want to do an artist interpretation of what I think this bomb looks like. One moment, I gotta open. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I accidentally God. opened Among Us. No. Oh, uh, also. Uh, wait, okay. I for Among Us. Also, uh, dragon. Uh, okay. The name of the of the bomb is the Sad Man. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause Who it's... gave the bomb depression? <laughs> Apparently, whichever... Wait, it doesn't have unaliving tendencies. <laughs> Apparently, whichever fucking... Uh... Are we cool Why yet? is the bomb like me? Whichever uh, Are We Cool Yet member decided to. <laughs> yeah, whichever dickhead artist <laughs> decided to do that. I guess... Yeah. I guess my big hinging point on what, like... Whether or not it's an actual bomb is, does the organization are we cool yet have the means to get a hold of the necessary uranium cores or radioactive I, materials? I've that seen a lot of stories where the foundation kills them. I mean, in the orbital cycle, some of them were killed. <laughs> the yeah, foundation like, easily takes care of them. Yeah, like I don't think that this is. <laughs> like a a group that tends to be capable of getting such restricted access and rare materials. Yeah. So like I I highly doubt that this is even a bomb and even in the case that it is it's only a city tier. So are you saying uh reassigned? I say spoon oh. tier. I think this bomb needs a break. <laughs> this bomb yeah. needs a therapist. This bomb, this bomb just needs to have a sit down, and like, ha like, like, explain to the bomb. You know, like, like, okay, so what? You were created to have a specific purpose, but you choose your purpose. You don't need to. You don't need to explode. Like, you could be, you could be a magician. Or 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 dancer, whatever the fuck you want. You don't need to blow up. Wait, how? Free artist on Twitter. Listen, listen. It's the SCP Foundation. We can figure it out. Well, the Look, SCP Foundation is going. Listen, the SCP Foundation is going to fund the sad the sad man's debut album. Uh, oh, so God. so that so that he does not even consider blowing up, even if he oh. could, which he probably can't. Uh... The artists, like music artists specifically, do have a tendency to, uh, you know. Damn it! Yeah, true. Okay, the SCP well, Foundation. I'm thinking furry artist on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Not only okay, no, no, no. Not only do furry artists on Twitter specifically make like sometimes a lot of money, so yeah. that is SCP funding. But a lot of them are like from what I've, like, seen are, like, genuinely just really happy people. Like, they just, like, really like drawing anthro animals. Like, they're just vibing. Yeah. Okay, so point being, uh, it was a little bit of stress going to the debut album. Point being, we, we get, we get the sad, the sad man, we, we get him in to, like, proper therapy. We, we ha have him should decide what he wants to be, preferably other than an explosive. <laughs> And then he gets to choose his fate. That's all I want for this bomb. This bomb has done nothing wrong. This bomb is a good boy. Which is a statement I... What? That's a statement that just came out of my mouth. 
Okay, wait, I'm almost done with the drawing of the bomb. Uh, wait, one moment. Uh, solid color. It's a beautiful drawing. Why Wait, the fuck is it not? okay, I forgot this SP was a thing, but this technically okay. has two names, two nicknames. Some people call it Meg's Diner, which is what it calls on SP Wiki. Other people call it the Four Horsemen Enter Meg's Diner. I see. Please tell me you know what the four horsemen are. I know what the four yeah. horsemen are. You know, you've Why got... do I feel like that's a reference to Good Omens, though? Because uh, the four horses of the apocalypse in Good Omens, they meet at a diner. Like and, like, the, like one the of them four... owns a diner. That's... Okay, so the four horsemen are, like, I don't a reference to, to something, like, in, like, Christian theology, I think. Yeah, I it's from it. Revelations. I know! Yeah. It's from that Good one time. Is like a, it's, a... it's it's from that one book where Peter, uh, I think Peter, it was, was it Peter or Paul? The four horsemen are also in X Men. Yeah, you're gonna say the four horsemen are from that one book of the Bible where uh, a disciple takes LSD, throws CDs around the room, and describes <laughs> the visions of God that he gets from those. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I think, the most accurate description of Revelations. I feel uh, like that could go with the entire Bible, though. So no, just... no. Not really. Also, are you ready for uh, for this Four Horsemen SCP? One moment, I'm almost done with the drawing. I, I, I want you to see what I think an uh, artist interpretation yeah, you... of what I think the sad man looks like. You can, you can do, you can show us it after we go to the next one. Yeah. Also, like, why the fuck are both of my teammates AFK right now? Why do I have to be the only one using explosives? <laughs> anyway. Cause... Okay, my art... Fuck oh, shit. Guess? God damn it, no. What dragon? Okay, okay, it's done. Wait. Okay, wait. What? I do want to see this. I haven't put it in stream planning. Okay. It's almost... My masterpiece is almost done. Wait, okay, when, when you got it, when you have it done, put it in. It's in I'm gonna put it in. Okay, it's in, it's gonna. Okay, it's in stream planning. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! Um, why? That's anyway. my artist interpretation. <laughs> why did you give it anime eyes? <laughs> because Penguin made it to be based off of Kirby. Oh yeah! Oh fuck yeah! Oh no! <laughs> it's a Kirby bomb. Anyway, are we ready for the SCP? Wait, wait, Kirby bomb. Wait, now right. it's now it's ZK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, bright, bright. I think it is imperative that you put this piece of art, absolute masterpiece of artwork, onto your stream. I'm not doing Every that. <laughs> Please, Please, bright. In the YouTube video, yes. Not okay. Stream. Okay. 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 That's that's acceptable. You better remember. That's gonna be an extra on the second uh, YouTube channel. You should go follow. I did not. Oh yeah, myself. self promo. I did not. I do think that. you mean subscribe. Follow is for <laughs> other spies. <laughs> Professional <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> I want Twitch more than YouTube, to be honest. So what? You're talking about YouTube, yet you called it follow. You called it followers. Shut up. Anyway, uh, no. on to the SCP. SCP 1295 is, is the collective designation for a group of four elderly men who patronize Meg's Good Eaton, a oh. diner over the redacted highway, redacted between 9 o'clock and 18 o'clock every day. SCP 1295's anomalous properties manifest when it an instance of SP-1295 is prevented access to the diner between the hours 9 o'clock to 18 o'clock, or removed from it by force. The exact nature of the effect and its duration is contingent on the instance of SP-1295. SP-1295-1, if prevented access it or removed from the diner against its will, 
SVCP 1295-1's anomalous properties will begin to manifest between 5 and 10 minutes after its removal. Those caught in an area beginning with approximately 100 meters from SV 1295-1 exhibit extreme lethargy and complete lack of any self-preservation instincts, making it making even a simple accident potentially lethal. The area of effect grows by approximately 100 meters for every hour SV 1295-1 is kept away from the diner. SCP-1295-2, if prevented, access, or removed from the diner against its will, SCP-1295-2's anomalous properties will begin to manifest between 2 and 3 hours after its removal. Those caught in an area beginning with approximately 500 meters from SCP-1295-2 lose their ability to distinguish between edible and inedible matter and will often endanger themselves or others in attempts to consume unsuitable nourishment, such as metal, toxic waste, living flesh, etc. The area effect grows by approximately 1 kilometer for every hour. SV-1295-2 is kept away from the diner. SCP-1295-3 is prevented ex if prevented access or removed from the diner against its will. SCP-1295-3's anomalous properties will begin to manifest immediately after its removal. The bodies of those caught in an area of approximately 50 meters around SCP-1295-3 will lose all microbial life forms associated with them. The adverse effects include, but are not limited to, a rapid decrease in the functionality of the digestive system due to a lack of gut flora. The area of effect grows by approximately 200 meters for every hour. SCP-1295-3 is kept away from the diner. SCP-1295-4, if prevented, access, or removed from the dinner against its will. SCP-1295-4 anomalous properties will begin to manifest 30 to 40 minutes after its removal. Those caught in an area beginning of approximately 150 meters from SCP-1294-4 will experience a sharp increase in self-preservation instincts to the point of paranoia and acute hypochondria. This condition soon becomes debilitating as those affected by it will refuse to perform any action that might put them in any sort of danger, minor as it may be. The area of effect grows by approximately four, uh, 200 meters for every hour. SV-1295-4 is kept away from the diner. Those caught by both the effects of SCP-1295-1 and SV-1295-4 enter a comatose state presumably due to their opposing nature creating an unbearable mental strain on the subject. Any attempt to track instances of SV-1295 when outside the diner has thus far failed. And that's the SCP. Okay, so it's just four guys that eat at a diner, and when they eat at said diner, bad shit happens, but worse shit happens if you try to keep them from eating there. Yeah. Are they boomers? This sounds like boomers. Also, <laughs> hold on. I want to ask a question. What's lethargy? Or le lethargy? Uh, lethargy is like uh, being super tired or like really weak. Oh, so yeah. me on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that tracks. So what would that even do to what? me if yeah. I was in in, in effect? You, you would, would be ex explode. <laughs> it would make what? no. It would, it would okay. just it would just make it you would, extra it tired. Would, it would exasperate those. It would exasperate it. Yeah. You would have you ha you would have both fucked brain chemistry, and an SCP making you tired. Yeah. Which makes you double tired. I mean. <laughs> So far, I like, all of these, um, things, only one of them doesn't end in death. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, it, it can cause death, because that, hmm. that, that aspect of, like, paranoia. making people... Yeah. Well, not just the paranoia, like, that aspect of making it so that people, like, have no, uh, self-preservation instincts... Kind of just means that 
Uh, I thought well, it was like, extra self-preservation. Yeah, it, exa- it exacerbates the self-preservation instincts. Yeah, a sharp um, increase of self-preservation in- instincts. Oh, I thought I heard something that, like, early on that said, like, it lessened the self-preservation. That was the first one, I think. The first one? As yeah, in, like... it, it exhibit extreme lethargy and complete lack of any self-preservation instincts. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. And putting those two together, one and four, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either way, point being... um. Just don't keep them from the diner. Yeah, don't keep them from the diner. Uh, when when they're at the diner, just try try to take care of the effects. I would say that this is just a certain group situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, certain group at most city. You know, yeah. you know what would be bad if um if. Because COVID does exist in SCP universe. Yeah. If COVID shut down that diner. Oh dear God. <laughs> well, just well, just make well the SCP Foundation could make sure that they keep it open for the SCPs. Like they, they can figure it. Or out. like it open for selective amounts, so that there's only like mm-hmm. a selective amount where only those people can go in. I.e. these four horsemen that if they don't get their goddamn coffee will fucking kill people. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> like, they've well, gotta have their goddamn coffee. Mm. Uh, so you said certain groups? I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think what Adonis said is spot on. Like, worst case scenario, you've got, uh, city level but yeah. given like proper containment seizures going on like it's it's just gonna affect people like in the general vicinity yeah and like it's not even going to actually hurt them for the most part <laughs> like like it, it it just makes it, it it'll just affect them a bit negatively probably because they're near boomers and then they're fine not that big a deal Yeah. There were multiple people with bounties on their heads. Alright, so the next SCP, which, um, since it has a new look on it, with a bunch of everything, and it's also part of the RCT, I don't know what part of the Greek alphabet the triangle that is, or what it that means, but the triangle thing, T. Hmm. And what they re- that organization represents is secure the past, contain the present, protect the future. Let's see. So I guess this has something to do with time. All right, are we ready? Yep. Right. And it's an. A- Inactive state item SCP-1297 is a glass jar approximately 20 centimeters in height with a plastic screw-on lid. Contents of the jar are, are apparently human toenail clippings in various states of decomposition. The precise volume of the item as well as the number, age, and composition of the clippings cannot be determined due to the item's anomalous properties. Anytime a toenail clipping is removed from the jar, SCP-1297 will project a unique temporal displacement field during experiment trials and breach attempts. It has been determined that the difference between the year recorded within the anomaly and the year recorded by the observers outside the anomaly increases both with duration of activity and number of clippings removed from SCP-1297. The active radius of the anomaly also increases by the same criteria. An initial manifestation, SV-1297's active radius is 0.5 meters. At the at the triangle T equal to 10 years, this will increase by radius 0.5 meters and triangle T of 10 years per hour per, clip, per clipping. 
countering this effect requires a return of the original toenail clippings to SCP-1297. Each clipping returned is capable of reversing both the increase in radius and the triangle T for which it is responsible. Unlike other localized temporal anomalies, the field will allow organisms, persons, radiation, and simple objects to pass in and out without harm. Anomaly SCP-1297 represents a localized TK class casual restructuring event resulting in all temporal local casualty being forced progressively further backward along our current world line. Although sense of identity, personal history, and basic situational knowledge remain intact, progressively greater levels of technological regress can be observed within the active radius. Despite minor disorientation caused by the disappearance and regression of technology currently in use, all persons exposed to the effect indicate no knowledge anything has changed unless previous, previously informed by SCP-1297's unique properties. The field is not directly harmful or to, to healthy humans, however, subjects requiring the existence of advanced technology to survive will either expire or disappear entirely if local triangle T precludes the existence of that technology. Items or personnel lost to effect will be restored once the offending clipping has been returned to SP-1297. Lateral damage caused by their temporal disappearance is not. SCP-1297 employs a unique offensive strategy to increase the acceleration of the field's effective radius at tri and triangle T. Although clippings can be mainly removed and replaced without triggering this effect, SCP-1297 will, at random intervals, open and eject a random number of clippings covered in an unidentified, uh, unidentified viscous, sticky, malodorous brown humor. Direct skin contact with the humor causes intense abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting in 100% of subjects. Olfaction was sufficient to induce effects in 13% of those exposed. Incapacitation due to vomiting, shortness of breath, and loss of consciousness lasts over 20 minutes in all cases. In addition, SCP-1297-1 is capable of spontaneous animation. Within 5 minutes of emergence, SCP-1297-1 will solidify around any injected clipping in a radially symmetric pattern similar to an invertebrate vertebrate of class Esseroidea, resulting animate instances of no greater than 0.25 meters in diameter, but are capable of 2 meter vertical jumps, leaps at length of 5 meters, and movement in any direction at speeds of up to 45 kilometers per hour, which is employed to put as much distance between SCP-1297 and SCP-1297-1 as possible. Instances appear to be aware of the surroundings and have been known to remove additional clippings from SCP-1297 before attempting escape. Entities similar to SCP-1297-1 have been observed in relation to the SCP-3109 anomaly. So, basically, that's it. I was not expecting that. It's it's a jar of toenails that degrades time. Hmm. Who is thinking of this shit? Alright. <laughs> Obviously, I... someone I need to be friends with. Hold on, hold on, I got the description of that other SCP mentioned. SCP-3109-1 gotcha. uh, and... Uh, wait, hold on. SCP-3109 is roughly spherical area centered around a newly discovered Coupier Belt Object 2448-0102 with an approximate radius of 25,000 kilometers. What the fuck did I just read? I don't know. I'm shooting at people. Okay, so it's apparently a space object. It's connected to a space <clears throat> object. Oh. So it's aliens that are trying to fuck up our technology. I goddamn knew it. 
Aliens have have toenails? Maybe. Why? Well, no, these what? are human toenails that the aliens collected so that as to more effectively fuck up our technology. Yep. Though it also said TK class. We have to look up Why do the aliens have a weird fascination with feet? Who let them on Twitter? Actually, who let them on WikiFeet? WikiFeet? That's a thing! Uh, That's a thing. Actually, need to do I'll need to right. research this phenomenon later. <laughs> I don't on. know about WikiFeet. Alright, I found out what TK class means. Primary okay. definition. A massive CK class restructuring took place that resulted in the breaking and repair of the timeline. But like a broken face, the repair timeline is flawed, with events that don't line up and things that happened without a cause. I see. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. So we know what TK class is, and they said it's pretty much a TK class. Yeah. But where would you put that on the fucking board? Would that be in the world or reality? Oh. Uh, it wouldn't be the end. Well, it destroys and then reconstructs reality. Yeah. So the answer is, of course, maybe? I'm not sure. This is this is a difficult one. I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, it's just a time to show an anomaly, put it in reality. No, this is a difficult jar of toenails. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, I have no idea where to fucking put the shit. Uh. Well, I I'd say put in an X or in ZK. Yeah, it's like it is destroying reality. It's just then immediately reforming it. Yeah, once the toenail killer pants are put back. Yeah. Wait, why is all the weirdest shit get put in the ZK class? You got a phrase, a restaurant, and toenails. <laughs> Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh. anyway, are we ready to continue for the next SCP? Mm -hmm. All right, next SCP is Solve for Bear. SCP-1313 is an anomalous series of logical processes capable of being defined as a mathematical equation to which the answer is a single female specimen of Ursus Arctos. The equation itself does not appear to be inherently anomalous, but rather a quirk of mathematics rather than producing any number in R slash A. SCP-1313 resolves to Huh? I'm, I'm sorry. Real quick, I have to ex I have to tell y'all what just happened in this game. What? Okay, so I'm I'm playing GTA, and I see a blip pop up that makes me think that this person has a bike that I can sell, but apparently I misunderstood what the blip was showing, so I killed a completely random person for no goddamn reason. Now I was thinking I should probably you know text them and apologize. And then I noticed that their name on Xbox Live is 4chan. <laughs> I will not be texting oh, an apology oh to my them. Gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. That's completely... <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought y'all... If anything, you should, you should message them, fuck you. <laughs> actually, talking about 4chan, on the topic of 4chan, though, um, 4chan oh, is no. actually, like, shutting down soon. Like in a few oh. months. Nice. Base. Yeah. 
anyway. But the, the only yeah. yeah like, so yeah, is uh, they're gonna probably move over to like Facebook and shit. Yeah, they pro oh, uh, they will either go to Facebook, Reddit, depending on how far they far gone they are, Kiwi Farms. Oh God, not what the Kiwi fuck Farms. Is that? I have never. Oh heard of God, that is there enough? Uh, Kiwi Farms is an uh, is basically what happens when Nazis decide I'm tired of 4chan, so let's make our own 4chan. <laughs> that is Kiwi wait, Farms. Wait, wait. So let's Nazis. make our own own worst. Worst thing than poor chat? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's a Yahtzee breeding pit, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. On Either back way. to the SCP. Yeah. Um. Sorry. Would you mind just restarting because I, yeah. I derailed I the whole fucking stream for a moment. I apologize. But before we do, or do does anyone know what this means in math? Because I've never heard of it. R slash A. Uh. Mm. I think. Mm. Can you sh can you show me it? Hold on, I can screenshot it. If it's R slash A, then I'd be willing to guess that those that the R and A are variables. So you would punch in whatever R is, and then A is the power of. R could mean radius. It's in stream planning. Oh, it R slash A set of angles. Oh, yeah, Th those are the variables, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it, it's not uh to the power of, it would be uh R times A. If I, remember, yeah. if I remember my algebra punctuation correctly. So that's what it is, R, R times A? Yeah. Okay. I believe. All right. All right. Either that or it's... Either that or it's... Yeah. No, it wouldn't be R over A because the slash would be the other direction. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's R times A. Okay. Anyway. SCP-1313 is an anomalous series of logical processes capable of being defined as a mathematical equation to which the answer is a single female specimen of Ursus Arctos. The equation itself does not appear to be inherently anomalous, but rather a quirk of mathematics rather than producing any number in R times A, SCP-1313 resolves to produce a tangible, adult, and frequently enraged grizzly bear. The resolution does not have to be physically represented, and simply considering the problem long enough to arrive at the solution has resulted in a bear's manifestation in or around the subject solving it. SCP-1313 does not require any particular mathematical ability to comprehend beyond a basic understanding of elementary algebra, but all steps of the sequence must be completed in order to reach the correct answer. Skipping parts of the process or attempting to start midway through will not result in any anomalous effects and will likely produce a purely mundane result. Currently, Wait. what? Oh, is is it still going? Okay. Yeah, it's still going. I, sorry, sorry. It's fine. Uh, currently, examination of partial components of SCP-1313 has revealed the following information about the anomaly. SCP-1313 itself conforms to all axioms used in currently number theory. The bears cannot be returned to numerical form simply by solving the equation's inverse pending the invention of a method of applying mathematical operations to physical objects. SCP-1313 can, can be used as, the, as an element of other equations to produce semi-anomalous results. For example, SCP-1313 divided, uh, divide, divided absolute, I think that's what it is, uh, resolves to a square root of a live grizzly bear, otherwise SCP-1313 squared is the product of two live grizzly bears multiplied together. It is not recommended that such derivative equations be solved that the creatures produced are usually poorly integrated into our reality and invariably extremely hostile during their brief periods of existence. That Grizzly bears exist within the set of all real numbers and are not prime. The square root of a grizzly bear is prime, however, 
and is the only uh, prime number that A is not a cardinal number, B is neither even nor odd, and C contains an animal component. The implications that the root of, the, of, the, of a bear is an integer, and therefore that bears itself exists out on an ordinary number line, are currently being investigated by Professor Hutchinson. SCP-1313 first came to the Foundation's attention in 1967 when a bear attack was reported at White Cross High School here Ford, England. SCP- Uh, no. I got ahead. Sorry. 1794. Okay. A separate instance of bear attacks in educational institutes have been observed since, and an estimated 1,600 fatalities and 900 further non-fatal injuries of the 1724 bears and mathematical bear composites generated at least 20% are still at large. Notice, if during the reading of this document you have pondered, pondered the nature of SB 1313 to such a degree that you feel that you have independent, independently formulated a portion of its structure, you are advised to make your way to the site's nearest amnestic distribution station and then to animal control. Failure to do so may result in disciplinary action and or bear-related injury. That's the SCP. Okay, this isn't a dash J, is it? No. The, it's just, it's just a mathematical equation that spawns bears. What yep. the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I did say his nickname was Solve for Bear. <laughs> This is this is too great. But Wait, no. does this mean come to think of it, does this mean that we could help offset the fact that uh grizzlies are endangered by just solving this problem a lot and then making sure that people are safe from well, the bears somehow? Only twenty oh percent a lot of problem. Yeah, and plus only twenty percent are still at large, which means the other eighty percent are either dead or in containment. Well, this... yeah, but that's that's because they're anomalous bears. So, like, they're either being taken in because they're anomalous bears, or uh, they're dead because they probably got shot because there was spontaneously a bear in the mall. <laughs> this... like, also, like, they could have been killed by I the... comment, humans have killed bears for stupider reasons. Like, the yeah. last California grizzly yeah. was literally murdered because... They went near a farmer's grape, and the farmer didn't want to lose the grapes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this reminds point... me of that. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, go ahead. This reminds me of that one Bible story where, uh, like a fuck ton of kids made fun of one of God's apostles for being bald, and then God sent down like two bears to fucking maul and eat the kids that made fun of his apostle. Are you saying this is God's mathematical equation to kill children? No, it just reminds oh me of that God. one story. Oh. And yes, people watching this that are Christian, that is in the Bible. <laughs> there's yeah. a lot of fucked up shit in the Bible, which is kind of weird because, like, there's all these, like, rules and laws and shit restricting what, like, kids can read, and then they'll allow the kids to read the Bible, and the Bible has more fucked up shit. Yeah. Anyway, Hatchet, what were you going to say? Uh, I don't remember at this point, but I think the thing that ultimately needs to be said is uh, whether or not y'all want to put it there. Uh, this is an this is a spood tier for me. I if, I feel yeah on that. This it's just a math equation that spawns bears. Like it's goddamn Red Wait, Dead Redemption. Yes. It may be a mathematical equation, but how many mathematical equations spit out bears? Not only well, yeah, that, what if there's like an well, yeah. like what if there's like an autistic person who is like special interest is this one specific fucking mathematical yeah. question? And so they're infinitely yeah. just spawning yeah. bears. Are you trying to say someone might purposely summon bears? No, they just might really like the bears and so they keep I mean, spawning the bears. Jerry, to that question that came chaos insurgency might. Also, some people just really like bears. Wait, I 
I just kind of want to tell the GOC just about this SCP and them trying to get rid of it. <laughs> but, but the thing is, how do you spawn the bears? Do you have to completely all the time, like, you finish? Have to, you just you have, have to, to complete it. Yeah, you gotta finish it. Uh, you have to complete like a really long it. question. Just complete it. It's, it's, it's implied to not be super long or super difficult since all you need to figure it out is, uh, what was it? Elementary level, uh, algebra. algebra. Yeah. So like it's, it's, pre if it is long, it's still absurdly easy to solve. So it's, it is really easy to spawn bears with it, but point being, delicious, but scary. Yeah. Point being, um, once again, I think this should be an instance food tier because, because bear spawning. Just spawn I love bears. The idea like of bear spawning. Just fucking spawn bears like it's Red Dead Redemption. Okay, does that mean there's one for every animal? Because I want a math equation that equals oh, penguins. That would be amazing. Is there a math equation that equals groupers? Because I want to go. Uh, groupers are a type of fish, and specifically the Goliath grouper are gigantic fucking boyos that are going extremely in danger, but they are absolutely gigantic, super intelligent fish. <gasps> and they also, they fight lionfish. They are some of the handful of fish in America that have very rapidly adapted to eat the fucking invasive lionfish. Okay, Ooh, so, awesome. um... I, I, did, I did move it already, but uh, the next SCP, I can't say it's nickname with the child present, so I'm going to send it to the adults. Is it NSFW? It's not an S NSFW SCP, but it's nickname. <laughs> it's something NSFW. I want to know. Well, too goddamn bad. What's the number? What's the SCP number? Well, you're going to no, hear when I read it. Don't look it up. I'm not going to look it up. Liar. We know you. What's the we number? We know you're going to look it up. What's the number? I'm not, not going to tell you. Hey, Bright, oh, when you say the number, you should deafen oh. Penguin. No, I want to know the number. Oh, number don't worry. Three. Don't worry, I already have something I'm planning to do. In. I'll just open Twitch. Right. You do realize shut I'm not off... showing it. Right. Shut off Twitch. While what? You, when you say the number. Turn off, turn off the stream and then turn it back on after you've said the number. No, I'm not doing any of that. I'm not muting <laughs> anyone. But anyway, did you see the nickname? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Why is it nickname that? <laughs> okay, I see. I just sent it to you already, Adarna. What? Why? <laughs> I guess we're about to find out. Anyway, SCP Redacted is a stable space time anomaly presently hypothesized to be an interdimensional aperture into a parallel universe. The anomaly occupies a fixed location around which Site 122 has been constructed in order to study and contain it. The anomaly is roughly ellipsoid in shape, measuring approximately 2.5 centimeters long its longer axis and approximately 1 centimeter along its vertical axis. The anomaly is two-dimensional and coplanar with a plane perpendicular to the horizon and ori oriented approximately 36 degrees west of true south. Matter and energy are capable of passing through the anomaly in a manner of a transversible wormhole. When lighting conditions are in the space in the near vicinity of the other side of the wormhole permit, the space on the other side of the wormhole can, can be directly observed, particles and objects of a cross-section not exceeding the anomaly's dimensions are capable of being inserted into the anomaly and thus transported into the parallel universe. The anomaly does not conduct sound. The parallel universe on the other side of the anomaly has been officially designated SCP-Redacted-A, although the term per tail has 
also been collectively used. The anomaly appears to have been artificially and deliberately generated from the SCP Redacted A side. The population of SCP Redacted A does not appear to have been successful in generating additional instances of SCP Redacted, nor in altering SCP Redacted dimensions or closing it. The anomaly appears to have emerged in the standard universe in approximately the year 1952, with the Foundation promptly establishing control over the anomaly's location. Although the Foundation had initially conducted an extensive study program of SCP Redacted, including communication with the civilization on the other side of SCP Redacted, recent Foundation efforts have focused on containment. Ah. Uh. But yeah, that's the SCP. It's just literally a portal. It's just... Wait. Okay, so do we know that the entities on the other side are still trying to break through? And like, is this thing expanding? Like, what? why is this a keter? Hold on, I can read the log. I just opened it. Hold on. 19... Uh... Eight... Oh, uh, August 1952, Anomaly Discovered. September 1952, Foundation obtains custody over SCP Redacted, containment chamber constructed. October 1952, Metallic Cylinder emerges through Anomaly. Cylinder is retrieved and subjected to quarantine and sterilization. Following clearance, Cylinder is examined and found to be hollow with screw cap. Cylinder contains triangular sheets of paper-like substance upon which glyphs are inscribed. Artifact referred to Linguistics Unit. November 1952. Experimentation with, with SCP Redacted progresses, including in introduction of various objects through anomaly, samples taken of atmosphere in SCP Redacted-A space, found to resemble Earth's atmosphere, but with a higher concentration of argon. December 1952. Several additional cylinders containing documents emerge through SCP Redacted, and after quarantine are subjected to analysis. July 1953. Linguistics, linguistics and mathematics personnel report breakthrough and analysis of documents obtained from SCP Redacted-A, Message on glyphs in interpreted as representations of geometric principles and text apparently composed with a deliberate purpose of establishing cordial contact with the discoverers of the message. Linguistics unit composes reply message using the same writing system, points same on paper, places paper and a metal cylinder of foundation manufacture, but resembling those used by SP or DACD-A culture, and assert cylinder into anomaly. September 1953. Light activated on far side of anomaly. Close observation of anomaly indicates that far side of anomaly is located in what appears to be an artificially constructed containment chamber, broadly similar to that constructed by Foundation for containment of anomaly. October 1953. Approximately start date of extensive communication with SCP uh, Redacted A Civilization. Communication initially consists of reciprocal delivery of text messages on paper, first in glyphic si system in which initial messages are composed, and subsequently in a mutual developed blend of said glyphic system in English. Communication accelerated when S. SCP Redacted A Civilization proposes the construction of a telegraphic system involving a specifically shielded cable transversing the anomaly, with reciprocal equipment for the encoding and decoding of communications on both ends. November 1953. Communications with SCP Redacted A Civilization indicates that the civilization is composed of Homo sapiens. Organization with whom communication has been established is a scientific institute associated with the polity comprising the geographic area surrounding the SCP 
redacted dash a side location of the anomaly. Details of political organization and technologies of SCP redacted dash a solicitation are disclosed. SCP redacted dash a solicitation has attained an advanced degree of technological and engineering sophistication, uh, particularly in the fields of mathematics and high end energy physics in which civilization's achievements surpass those of Earth. Of the anomaly as an unintended consequence of the experiment- Oh wait, that's parentheses. Never mind. But with less sophistication in biological science. SCP Redacted-A civilization expresses strong interest in sharing samples of music, visual arts, literature, and mathematics, but no interest in medicine or religion. Reciprocal deliveries of data from SCP Redacted-A a civilization are achieved and undergo analysis. January 1962. SCP Redacted A civilization provides detailed log of astronomical observations and suggests that Foundation reciprocate. Analysis of provided data by Foundation researchers suggests strong probability that there is no position within our observer observable universe that can correlate to the provided data, foundation personnel, symbol data file for delivery to SCP Redact A, that it is altered at direction of site 122. Administrator citing security concerns. Within nine hours following delivery of data file, SCP Redact A civilization identifies the false information, just that the foundation personnel proceed with more candor and interest of mutual scientific and cultural development. Suggestion forwarded to O5 for, con for consideration. November 1972. Telegraphic cable through SCP redacted, temporarily disconnected, and withdrawn into containment chamber for routine maintenance. Following maintenance, SCP redacted A cable end is reinserted into SCP redacted for SCP redacted A personnel reconnected it to the equipment on the other side. December 1972. Communication received from SCP Redacted A indicating that a temporal degradation in the customary response time to signals from the Foundation would be experienced due to personnel shortages on SP Redacted A side. In response, a query message sent by SP Redacted A side indicated that the organization having custody of their, their side of SP Redacted is experiencing a higher than normal. Incidents of personnel illness resulting in absentee absenteeism. January 1973. Message sent by SP Redacted A side reported that its personnel situation is back to normal, but that illness is becoming widespread in the geographic area of the SP Redacted A facility. March 1973. Message sent sent by SP Redacted A side indicated that local government is imposing quarantine measures in an effort to arrest spread of what is infinitely a viral outbreak on their side in response to, to a foundation offer to render assistance. SP Redacted A civilization delivers data package containing pathology data. October 1973 After appropriate quarantine measures are taken at Site 122. Foundation requests that SCP Redacted A civilization deliver a sample of the virus. Sample is delivered through SCP Redacted and properly shielded amp ampule, which is then secured and analyzed subject to Class V contagious disease protocol. Upon analysis, virus found to be harmless flu variant. Foundation researchers send analysis data to SCP Redacted A together with suggestions on synthesizing a vaccine and administering inoculation protocols. June 1973. SCP uh, Redacted A reports at least 8 million worldwide casualties attributed to virus, and that Foundation developed vaccine has been distributed and administered uh, on widespread basis. August 1973. SCP Redacted A reports that the spread of the virus appears to have been arrested and that the number of, of new instance, incidents of illness from the virus is dramatically decreasing. October 1973. 
SCP Redacted A reports worldwide inoculation against the virus. December 1973. In the course of normal communications, SCP Redacted A reports an unexpected decrease in new pregnancies. Uh, May 1974. SCP Redacted A reports a dramatic drop in birth rate. August 1974. SCP Redacted A reports that its analysis indicates that decrease in fertility appeared to be a side effect of the foundation provided vaccine. June 1975. SCP Redacted A reports widespread social disorder attribute to fertility issues and corresponding stresses on family life. In response to foundation offer of assistance, message received stating, No, thank you. You have done enough. May 1975, change in management structure of SP Redacted A organization with custody of their side of SP Redacted. Communications received that their side are frequently belligerent and accusatory in tone. June 19, no, July 1975, SCP Redacted A organization unalarily discontinues communications dealing with. Scientific and Cultural Exchange. September 1975. SCP Redacted A organization reports a massive ongoing worldwide upheaval attribute to drop in fertility. Message received indicating fewer than 1,000 live births reported globally in the past 72 days. October 1975. Last communication received from SCP Redacted A communication consisted of text reading, You killed us. You did this to us. And in your carelessness and your arrogance, you have destroyed our poster posterity. But we shall avenge. We of the last generation pledge to Valdis. We will find a way. December 1976. Monitors and SCP Redacted Containment Chamber indicate that various pathogens have been introduced into the containment chamber from the SCP Redacted A side but have been isolated and destroyed. January 1977. High energy particle beam fired through SCP Redacted from SCP Redacted A side, damaging Site 2122 Containment Chamber. Damage is promptly repaired. March 1984, high energy beam of co coherent radiant energy fired through SCP Redacted from the SCP Redacted A side, immediately followed by the, inser the insertion of various pathogens through SCP Redacted, damage from being re repaired, and pathogens isolated and destroyed. August 1984, directed energy weapon fired through SCP Redacted from the SCP Redacted A side, immediately followed by an insertion of various pathogens through SCP Redacted, damage from weapon repaired, and pathogens isolated and destroyed. Uh, April 1991. Beam weapon fired through SCP Redacted from the SCP Redacted A side, immediately followed by an insertion of various pathogens through SCP Redacted, damage from being repaired, and pathogens isolated and destroyed. June 1991. At direction of Site-122 Administrator, Foundation fills containment chamber of SP Redacted with quick-setting hardened ceramic. July 1991. Ceramic dissolved by means of unknown solvent introduced through SP Redacted from SCP Redacted-A side. September 1992. High-energy particle being fired through SCP Redacted from SP Redacted-A side. Immediately followed by an insertion of nanobots through SB Redacted. Damage from beams uh, repaired and nanobots isolated and destroyed. October 1992. Large numbers of nanobots inserted through SB Redacted from the SB Redacted A side over a long continuous period. Damage up to containment chamber from the nanobots repaired and nanobots destroyed. January 1994. Iron Rod at at least 8 kilograms in mass fired through SCP Redacted from the SCP Redacted A side at velocity estimated 200 kilometers per second, immediately followed by an insertion of nanobots through SCP Redacted, damage from rods repaired, and nanobots isolated and destroyed. 
December 1994. Beam of coherent radiant energy fired through SP redacted from SCP redacted A side for over 108 continuous days. Total energy of beam uh, over that period estimated to be at over 10 to the 33 power EV. Site 122 extensively damaged, but pathogens and nanobots introduced through SP redacted are. After cessation of particle being are successfully contained. March 1995, device insertion started into chamber through SP redacted. From the SP redacted A side, device is activated and over a 40 minute period heats the atmosphere within containment chamber into a superheated he plasma, which damages containment chamber. Plasma successfully vented from chamber and containment protocol. Altered so as to require chamber atmospheric pressure to be maintained at near vacuum. February 1998. Miniaturized two-stage thermonuclear weapon of incompletely understood design. Introduced through SP Redacted from SP Redacted A side and detonated. Site 122 extensively damaged by pathogens and nanoblasts introduced through SP Redacted after detonation are successfully contained. July 2006. Cor corrosive fluid pumped into containment chamber through SCP redacted from SP redacted A side. Under extremely high pressure, pressurization of fluid continues after chamber is filled, resulting in damage to containment chamber. Pathogens and nanobots introduced through SP redacted after removal of fluid are successfully destroyed and facility repaired. April 2007. At direction of Site 122, Administrator remotely operated miniaturized probe placed in containment chamber and commanded to approach SCP Redacted. When probe came within 3 meters of SCP Redacted, a series of iron rods, each at least 8 kilograms in mass, were fired through SCP Redacted at high velocity velocities, comparable to that experienced in 0, 1.0. In January 1994, incident rods destroyed probe, probe and caused extensive damage to Site 122, which was promptly repaired. November 2008, gas of unknown composition introduced into chamber through Site rede uh, through SCP redacted from the SCP redacted A side under pressure following introduction. Additional substance introduced through SP redacted, resulting in extremely rapid phase change of gas into solid with greater thermo in, in, in thermo lock, lock, sorry in in intermolecular separation than gas, which experts pressure on chamber sides, resulting in extensive damage. Solid and rapid cell limits fall. Following which pathogens and nanobots are introduced, pathogens and nanobots destroyed, and facility repaired. June redacted. Several miniaturized ther thermonuclear weapons introduced through SP redacted from the SP redacted A side and detonated, followed by several high energy particle beams being fired through SP redacted from the SP redacted A side at various angles. SP redacted extent. Excessively damaged, uh, no, site 122 excessively damaged, but pathogens and nanobots introduced through SP redacted after cessation of particle beams are successfully contained. And there you go, that long ass log. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so first off, this everybody is why we have clinical trials. Yeah. <laughs> Like, are you okay? I am highly frustrated. Extreme patients done weirder things. Oh no, that's the thing. Like, this one is actually like this is a situation in which the SCP Foundation was absolutely in the moral right. And it's just the other party was a dipshit. Well, yeah. Like. They were like, angry and belligerent, I believe it called them. 
Yeah, they became angry and belligerent. After the SCP Foundation tried to genuinely help them, but on their side, they apparently didn't have the foresight to do clinical trials and make sure that everything was all right with the vaccine for them in particular. Mm -hmm. Like, if if those if them on that side had just done clinical trials, it could have all been avoided. I guess the SCP Foundation kind of assumed they would do that kind of how can how they do tests and trials. Yeah, yeah, but because the people on that side are some like somehow super advanced, but aren't advanced in the way of medical technology, which and I dare say how how does how does a population of Homo sapiens make it to the point of being able to make nanobots without increased medical technology look at yeah. the united states sorry i am uh, but they also de i don't believe in reli oh, yeah, uh, true. religion either they don't do medication or religion uh, so they're just a, i guess they're a bunch of atheists <laughs> they're a bunch <laughs> Wait, of they're a bunch or, of or are they a bunch of anti-theists yeah. they're a bunch of anti-theist anti-vaxxers oh god the worst oh, type no. of people the unholy, the unholy duality of the antis. I fucking hate anti-theists. Yeah. What the passion. Because the thing is, if I remember correctly, aren't a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them, like, incredibly fucking racist? Eh, yeah, there, there's, there's a pretty significant portion of them that went down the wrong end totally of the... racist in every group of faith. Point. Yeah, but like they in particular uh largely went down the anti SJW pipeline. Oh. oh they they also went they also went down the they they also are majorly ableist. Yeah. Calling calling religion a mental illness, calling it a disease. Yeah. Mean all of us have a mental disease. Well, it looks like the creatures on the other side, or whatever the hell they are, um, they, they have a very low birth rate. Well, yeah, that was that that was established. So I, does I, that mean they'll eventually die if we just keep letting it going on long enough? Yeah, most likely at this point. They said that they are the last generation. And yeah. they will have revenge, but they're dealing with the SCP Foundation. The best they've yeah. gotten was nanobots, pathogens, plus thermonuclear device. Like, yeah. like, like, if they actually tried to work on medical stuff more and tried to be nicer to each other, then, you know, they wouldn't be, have been the last generation. Yeah. But they're yeah, too dicky to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. So it, so like point so point being oh uh, you know what this is the best way to put it. You know, this this is America. The 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 planet that this portal leads to. It's America <laughs> the planet. Every, everyone has nice things, but they're also goddamn stupid and vengeful for no good reason. <laughs> it's, it's it's Morica if Morica was completely filled. Actually, wait, it's already filled with anti vaxxers, pretty much. Uh, completely filled with a anti theists. <laughs> yeah. Basically, this is what it looks like. If this portal was placed somewhere other than the SCP Foundation site, it would be a problem. Ooh, yeah, no. but since it's like. Imagine if it was placed in fucking Texas. Who do you think would win? <laughs> The anti-theists or the extremely religious? Oh my gosh. I, wa I want to see that actually oh happen. God. Unironically? No. Unironically. I think that would be fucking hilarious. No, this is a bad idea. It would be funny. Like, for one, we need to always remember that southern states are held captive by the Republican Party. Yeah. And statistically speaking, like, the majority of the people within these states are... Yeah, more pro are more progressive than you would be led on by the fact that they're living in a southern state. 
and this thing being in Texas, just full stop. Where in Texas? How in Texas? What What's it doing in Texas? How'd it get there? Like, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Point being, all of this is to come back around to, I think that this is a certain group's category. Yes. Like the, the SCP Foundation has this on lockdown. Yeah, it's not getting out. And like, this is like one of those situations where I'd be kind of, uh, I, I'd be kind of, I kind of feel like this could be reclassified to Euclid, but I mean, at the very least, you do have a technologically advanced group of he very, very spiteful anti-theist humans on the other side of this hole that really wants to kill us. <laughs> so, like, I can understand the Keter classification. Yeah. I can understand yeah, that, too. If they went through it, I'm pretty sure they would get, like, they they, they went in and get past the door. Yeah, no. This, it's just... Because they would they would probably go, be going through, like, a very restricted area, so... Yeah. Just like literally you can just set up like two rows of people and just nope, you can't get through. Yeah, like the well, I mean one, like this is a very small hole. They they need to find they would have to I don't know how that would work, but point being like, yeah, if they manage to widen it enough to fit people through it, they're just gonna get gunned down. Yeah. yeah. And, like, maybe they have super advanced anti-theist armor. Uh, okay. We have memetic agents. Yeah, it just oh throws God. SCP-055 zero, zero, uh, zero at them. Wait, is, <laughs> there any art? is there any art for this? We, we just throw SCP-049 at them, too. Actually, there, actually, there's an SCP that is powerful enough that it can literally just stop this SCP. And it's a joke SCP. And it's oh SCP God. J. Uh, well. I think you cut out. No. Yeah, you cut out. No, I didn't cut out. That's the name. It's SCP J. It's a procrastination rock. Oh, dear God, yeah. <laughs> Just toss that in the portal and you won't be able to do anything. <laughs> They're like, I really hate those other humans on the other side of this portal, but I don't want to move right now. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, here's, 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 here's my idea, here's my idea, here's my idea, okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. You mm -hmm. throw the rock at them. Mm -hmm. Boom! No more problem. That's what we're joking about. That's what we were, what we yeah, were talking that's about. Really, that's what we were talking the, about. The question is, though, would you procrastinate throwing the rock in there? No, uh, they, they I like have, throwing rocks. They have so procedures in moving it. Oh, you're so horrible, yeah. Penguin. They have procedures in like moving rocks. it. I think, like, as long as it's encased, the anomalous effects aren't there. Yeah, they just... Okay, here's, here's the plan. Okay, we design a specifically set, a bizarrely very specifically set up cannon okay you load the box that has it in it and you just pull the trigger and the the rock itself it's launched out of the box the box stays on our end then the rock ends up on the other end and they ain't doing shit to us ever again <laughs> problem solved scp contained <laughs> two, two at once too <laughs> so here's the thing, Hatchet. I'm just gonna tell you this. That's not the first time that ha that has happened. Not with like a can or something, <laughs> but they have used that SCP before for containment measures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Though, yeah, come to think of it, that that would mean that like <laughs> the the downside to this containment measure is that we wouldn't have the rock anymore for other SCPs. Yeah. I think it was used on Abel once before. Oh yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> just make just make Abel really like just super lethargic. Like, uh, I think I just want to eat some chips, man. I I don't need to destroy all this shit. Oh yeah, I think it. I think it was denied test for six eight two. 
Uh, <laughs> what would it even do to six eight two? <laughs> it just make him less angry. He just he just becomes a gigantic stoned wizard. <laughs> Uh, he becomes more angry, eats it, and becomes forever more angry. That's also a possibility. <laughs> Which is probably why it was denied. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, if we're done talking about uh the rock. <laughs> yeah, if we're well not just the rock, if we're done talking about the anti vax anti theist world. Yeah. Um the next SCP. Yeah, I think certain group and let's yeah. move on. Next SCP is nicknamed Inner Sanctum. SCP-1348 is a modified cave complex located 81 kilometers from El Tabath, Syria, in the Jabal Al Daruz Mountains. Upon initial discovery by IAEA monitors for, on March 6, 2006, the complex was believed to house a Syrian reactor. Subsequent Israeli airstrikes on the site resulted in the discovery of three unknown chambers. Per intergovernmental con uh, compact with the Israeli and Syrian governments, Foundation agents responded containing SCP-1348-1, 2, and 3, constructing the Site-87 containment unit. SCP-1348-1-E -E is an anomalous humanoid originally observed performing the original practice now this designated as SCP-1348-2 inside the SCP-1348 uh, ritual complex. On redacted, three weeks after initial containment, the subject entered status epilepticus epilepti and died. During containment, the subject were Produce three utter utterances in the unknown southern Semitic language, but otherwise made no attempts to communicate with the Foundation staff. Food, water, and bedding were declined. Intravenous nutrition provided impossible. Uh, oh, intravenous nutrition proved impossible. Subject otherwise in exhibited no anomalous behavior for autopsy result. Uh, but. SCP-1348-2 is a ritual practice of unknown provenance. Spoken portions of SCP-1348-2 are performed in an unknown southern Semitic language when adequately performed by individuals meeting un unclear ritual criteria. SCP-1348-02 uh, prevents full retraction of the veil surrounding SCP-1348-03, an obligatory Precursor event in scenarios XK734, XK918, and XK337. At present, details of the religious faith underlying SCP-1348-2, ritual criteria necessary for adequate participation in SCP-1348-2, and a casual mechanism connecting SCP-1348-2, that the retraction of the veil are speculative or unknown. When performed by appropriate celebrants, adequate performances of SP 1348 2 are romantically virulent, inducing suggestibility, religious mania, and desire to perform the ritual practice in 38% of exposures. Repeated exposure results in virtually themed obsessive compulsion. The minute the medic transmission rate of SCP-1348-2 appears to increase as successful revisions approach the ide ideal state for unknown reasons. Members of haplotype CMH-6 appear to be immune to the adverse effects of this mimetic transference, while present transcripts and recordings of SCP-1348-2 are not believed to be virulent. Existing containment guidelines require certified foundation linguistics to minimize active exposure to full ritual recordings. SCP-1348-3 is a central chamber of the SCP-1348 complex. Due to high neutron flux, the chamber was originally believed to be a source site for high-grade radioactive waste or an unshielded reactor core. 
initial investigation of the chamber by remote drone or field in an elaborate rectangular chamber decorated in the proto semitic style repeated motifs include include rams serpents slaughter bulls wounded island uh, lions clocks and depictions of ritual practices similar to scp 1348-2 in the center of the room is a raised platform with a nine meter radius of, uh, surrounded by a cylindrical sheath constructed of barium bronze at dawn noon and dusk the sheath retracts causing neuron flux inside SB-1348-3 to increase to lethal levels. Performance of SB-1348-2 appears to provide celebrants with substantial protection against radiation poisoning and results in complete closure of the outer sheath. Attempts to, to view the area within the sheath uh, except the celebrants during performances of SCP-1348-2 have been unsuccessful. Celebrants, including Foundation staff, are unable or unwilling to disclose the inner region's contents for... Oh, yeah. That's it. I have... I did not retain any information about this SCP. My brain just kind of shut off for no good reason. I apologize. It's a dangerous religion. It's, it's a mimetic religion, so Christiani Christianity. Christianity. That's my favorite religion. Christianity. <laughs> Said by the one Christian in the room. Christianity. Hey, if there's anyone that knows the most on how to shit on like Christianity, it's going to be the Christian. I don't think that tracks, but okay. Hey, there are some Christians that are self-aware. Well, yeah, but... Anyway. Hell. Um... If you want more information, there's an incident that only the O5 can see. Wait, we're in the O5 now? Apparently. I, I mean, I stole this. Because I'm Serpent's hand. I stole it. Damn. Got him. Hurry. The, um, oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I was gonna say, if it's just that, like, if it's just that this religion makes people come to it in this specific area, or is it that... Well, there's also uh, this, uh, at, at dusk, noon, and midnight, I think it said, uh, mm -hmm. The dash three instance uh, shoots out heavy re radioactive uh, waves, but anyone affected by the religion does not get harmed by it. Yeah, I I remember that bit. So then, I guess my first thought is okay. So it shoots out radioactive waves. Are these? Uh, is, is this basically? just going to constantly irradiate like at, like what I'm thinking is how is this radiation affecting the surrounding environment and how would it affect the world right. also should we read the O5 document because they do have a tendency to hide things that's fair yeah go ahead all right background unredacted three days after his interview with zero Dash nine one four two and five days after the death of dire director redacted, site director Khan compiled a new instance of SCP thirteen forty eight dash o two and entered the inner containment area. After performing external por portions of SCP thirteen forty eight dash o two, Doctor Khan entered the central region of SCP thirteen forty eight o three. In accordance with Foundation protocol for investigating security breaches by senior staff, Foundation internal security personnel sequestered all electrical devices, paper files, and personal effects related to prior or present assignments by Site-93 personnel. After detailed forensic re review, internal security's preliminary conclusion was that Dr. Khan 
motivated all personal distress in the aftermath of the death of the rector redacted. Spontaneously and unilaterally decided to deviate from the containment protocol and enter the central region. On redacted, the following letter was returned unopened to Dr. Khan's primary residence in Haifa, Israel. Judith, it is strangely simple to be writing the last letter I will ever send. As long as I can remember, the truth has had consequences, so I have withheld as much as I could. But now the consequences are so very imminent. I will be departing beyond their reach. I have a confession. When you were 10, I told you that I was a linguist from for the Institute. When you were very young, three perhaps, this was true. By the time you were old enough to ask, I was wise enough to lie, and I had other duties. Before you retreated into the Torah, when you were still rebellious, you once told me that I loved my country more than I loved you. Why did I have to be a spy and not your father? I could not answer because I could and I not tell you that you were wrong. I served the world, not Israel. I served out, their, out of fear, not love. Before the Shoah, your grandfather was a typesetter in Danzig. The Germans burned his presses and took him to Monowitz, and he worked in the printer's shop. After the Americans came, he went to Israel and he fought at Jaffa, and after the war, he came to Barkai, and then I was born. These were the great and terrible events in his life, and I only met him after they had passed. Because I only saw the outlines of, e of the events which had shaped him. I could not understand why he was such a hard man. Eventually, I gave up. I came to understand that I could never understand. I could only cast my forgiveness into the dark, not knowing what it was that I was forgiving. When you were 16, Eliezer told me that he wanted to marry you and study the Torah at Bene Brock. I screamed at him that there was nothing in the Torah and that he was a fool. I told you that if you married him, I would never speak to you again. I knew then and that if, if there was a God, he was vast and terrible and blind. You could not know how I knew this, but I was wrong, Judith. What does the Torah tell us? The name once moved upon the water, that he broke bread with Abraham, that he wrestled with Jacob and broke his thigh, that he bruised Moses and the clay beside the Jordan. But now the temple is a ruin, and the people of Moses are scattered. And we have lost even the name for so long. I have stood on the edge of the chasm which separates us, demanding that he explain. When you married Eliezer and you covered your hair, I thought you were abandoning me. But you're seeking after the name which I had abandoned, unafraid to cast your forgiveness into the depths of the mystery. If you're unafraid, even as a child, why have I hesitated for so long? It is late. I am tired. Tomorrow I will anoint myself with oil. I will bathe in the, in the font and I will seek his terrible name. When the sun rises, I will stand before my broken father, the fathers who were broken before him. As someday you will stand before me, as someday you will stand before him, I will be held to the account for my absence. I will hold the name to, to account for his, and I will forgive him. I love you. I love you, Father. In the light of this new information on Redacted, the Incident Review Board altered its conclusion and recommendation. Prior to entry, Dr. Khan was suffering from religious mania brought on by exposure to SB 1348-02. As a result, the Foundation now concludes that haplotype CMH-6 does not provide effective protection to ritual-associated mimetic effects. Conclusion Per 05-07, C. Dash 1348-B containment procedures are suspended. Remaining C-1348-B personnel are to be treated with amnestics and quarantined until verbally cleared of all memories related to SCP-1348-02. Upon retraction to, of the veil, C-1348-B 
1348-A is immediately execute protocol 228-Malaka. That's the O5 thing. What they didn't want everyone to know. What they didn't want everyone to know is that it's literally anyone can be affected by it. Yep. That's There's horrifying. no protection. That is horrifying. So it's actually more horrifying. dangerous than what it was originally written. Okay, but I guess my... Okay, so does this... So does this mimetic religion then lead to people uh, doing an auto-haunt inside? I mean, I mean, they eventually die because the last person they did basically didn't want to eat, drink, or go to bed. They'll eventually drop dead. Okay, and how, and how does the religion spread? It just spreads like normal As long religion. as you, like, get taught about it. As long as you're taught it. Hmm. Mm. So basically, uh, Christianity. How that works. <laughs> it's pretty much... It pretty much is the definition of a death cult. Yeah. yeah. And it's a death cult that spreads memetically. The question is, how far does that... So, like, if it's going to do this, if it's going to, like, kill a significant number of people, those people have to spread uh, as 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 we high priests of the teleoilet would say, spread the good word. Yeah, like oh, okay. like smile dog. Yeah. So, um, with the SCP Foundation's capability to suppress, uh, this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's. I I I would. This is a I difficult leave, SCP. <laughs> yeah, I would move on city. Yeah. Certain groups to city because, like, I can imagine, like, smaller group, like, smaller, less noticed populations of people just entirely getting infected by this. Mm -hmm. But, like, like, the foundation, generally speaking, is pretty dang on the money when it mm -hmm. comes to uh, fucking information suppression. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, like, at its worst possible scenario, it would be end of humanity scenario. But I think that it's of a type of SCP that's particularly suited towards the Foundation's, some of the Foundation's specialties. Right. To where I think that worst case scenario with the foundation being on top of things is small local communities and then some handful of people start spreading some version of it that keeps it under wraps somehow so maybe city or yeah i'm, I'm thinking city. and yeah. on top of that like wasn't it implied that that like specific spiritual site that does all the radiation mm -hmm. is like the main like the main source of the religion yeah which also implies that uh i think that would imply that spread of the religion is somewhat geographically restricted to being nearby that thing yeah either that or people are going to start spontaneously moving toward it yeah, and they... people start doing it. Foundations are just going to shoot them. <laughs> to be yeah, honest. Like... I, I feel like they've got this on. So, yeah, see, city. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fair. Scary, but city. I Although, I don't think it's quite as scary as the, uh, uh, the Cthulhu religion. Oh, yeah, that's way worse. Or with the children of Scarlet King. 
Yeah, like like that shit just pops up randomly. Yeah. And has absolutely no means of being contained. Th this one can just be contained with standard media suppression. Yeah, you just show a picture of 055 and you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would that even... No, that wouldn't work. It disappears. I forgot. Just yeah. put a, a recorder in there. You're good. Mm. Wait, hit, how do they not try that? Like, put a recorder in there and see if it projects outside. I feel like they would have. Have they? I, I don't think they, they did. I think they, they just. That. I think they just wrote it down and like took pictures. They didn't record it. Why the fuck yeah, did they I have not try to record it? <laughs> That's that is highly dumb. <laughs> well, maybe wait. Isn't like the containment like uh, very specific? So maybe the walls of the container won't allow that to right, work. Right, maybe. Well, we don't know because you lose your memory after you. Leave. Yeah, and like, yeah, and like we can't change the containment procedure because like we we don't know. We don't know why it's there. We assume it's there for a reason. <laughs> well, yeah. So, before we start the next one, put an intermission again, because I gotta go take a piss. Mm. Mm. I, I just got headbutted into a wall. By what? A Nazi. That's not good. <laughs> Dang, this this list is getting really filled out. Why does GTA have to be such a grind if you don't want to stink and purchase, use real world money to purchase in game money? All right, I'm back. Capitalism. What yeah. the fuck did I come back to? <laughs> me lamenting. Capitalism. Me lamenting how much of a grind GTA is if you, if you don't want to buy shark cards. Oh yeah. Also, um, I realized something. Mm -hmm. That one SCP that like is like an amorphous blob that steals SCPs. Yeah. I think it might be better to put that in world changing because I forgot that we made that. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, classification. It's well, like, it's not like, like, if it does, like, rewrite reality, it's not going to, like, it, 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 it's rewriting reality, so things go back to relative normal, it's just, yeah, yeah like, like they said, a broken vase, it's, 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 it's a little, it's a little bent, <laughs> a little cracked here and there. Yeah. Alright. Ready for the next one? Right. Define ready. No. All right. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something weirder than our expectations, so start it. <laughs> <laughs> SCP-1350 is a floating mobile point of light of unknown origins. The light animating from it is not reflected by any known material, but it can be perceived by biological organisms or mechanical photosensitive equipment. SP-1350 is a light glass, a light pass uninhibited through all known materials regardless of consistency or opacity. SP-1350 will target and slowly accelerate toward any living creature massing more than uh, 2,488 grams. Target acquisition is determined primarily by Maintenance of direct observation of the object by a living organism. Secondly, by proximity of the 
of the target and thirdly by target's mass. It will cease mo movement then instantly change targets should the situation change and make another target more favorable according to the criteria. Upon reaching the target, the ob object moves into the target's brain. Life, life signs of the target immediately cease, regardless, regardless of the mass of the target affected. The object immediately increases in volume, base speed, and apparent luminescence by exactly 22.7%, classified as a delta effect. This becomes an exponential progression as additional delta events occur. These attributes de decrease linearly at the rate of 1.14% per day until the object reaches minimum apparent di diameter of 0.5 centimeters minimum base speed of 4 kilometers per hour, and a minimal apparent luminescence of 25,000 CD. If it remains in the state for more than 24.2 days, it will cease to be influenced by the direct observation criteria until a minimum of three delta events have occurred. This is classified as a kappa event. Through concurrent containment procedures, the object is maintained at a diameter of 0.5 centimeters to 1 centimeters and apparent luminosity of 25,000 CD to 200,000 CD. No upper limits to size, speed, or luminosity have yet been observed. Uh, highest observed is 2 centimeters in diameter, 327 kilometers per hour, 1,650,000 CD, uh, during it, yep, that's the highest event. There you go. Oh, wait, I'm, there's an I'm addendum. Really there's an addendum. Want me to read that? Might help. Yeah. All right. Addendum 1350-01. The object's origins are unknown, but it is highly probable that team... Redacted 58 was the first group of living creatures it had encountered since its appearance, data expunged. At this velocity containment would be impossible. Subsequent contact with all life exceeding 2,488 grams is currently estimated 05 clearance only. And that's it. Uh, no, not of that paragraph, not addendum. Investigation into the object's possible origin, original path to the the location of discovery has thus far been fruitless. However, data expunge observatories are to be direct, directed not to observe this phenomena. Events SCP-1350-14 and SCP-1350-79 have proven the dangers of attempting to test subjects' parameters. Further experimentation on SCP-1350 is forbidden. SCP-1350 must be prevented by from coming within two. 100 kilometers of the ocean at all costs. So, big murder ball of light. Am I getting that correctly? Yeah. That's about right. We do not know how to stop it. We don't even really know what it is besides a ball of light. Well, the O5 knows what it is. They're redacting it. They could tell us. Damn it, O5. <laughs> they could tell us. If they don't it's tell light. us, then, you know, I'm just going to stick with we don't know what it is. Well, it says O5 it clearance. O5 clearance, O5 clearance only. See document 1350-K. Well, that's actually on the SCB wiki. Hold on. I don't look it up. 50 dash. No. Stupid phone. Okay. Let's see, 1350. No, it just pulls the original article that I just read. There is no 1350-K. Get up now. Either way, um, I think this is an easy XK. 
Yeah. No way to stop the murder ball of light. They just don't want it in the ocean for some reason. That's where really the, there's there's a lot of living things in the ocean. Oh, right. If not like a majority of things. Yeah, like if I yeah, if I'm not mistaken, like the majority of biomass on Earth does exist in the oceans. That's where humans originated. No. No, it is not. Okay, like or okay, you you know what the fuck I mean. Where what? life began. Boom, whatever. Well yeah, that's where life began. And I mean, our, our great, great, like, our extremely ancient ancestors, the tetrapods, came from there, but humans began in Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay, before I, like, move, uh, before I say it, where are we putting this? I just got something from Indeed from a response from someone else saying, oh, yeah, we would like you to work at our insurance, uh, insurance agency. I don't have any insurance experience. <laughs> now you do. <laughs> and apparently the salary is from 40000 to 80000 I don't know how much that is an hour. It's an eight hour salary. shift though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. Salary is for the whole year. So... How many eight hours? Monday to Friday. So that's what it said. Uh, also, I'm, Bright, I, wanna do I that. looked it up and was also given the runaround by the SCP page. So, so that means okay. someone can write it. That means so someone has the opportunity to write that. Because it doesn't exist yet? Yeah. What the? You think that would be something hard to get approved, though, right? Yeah, what it the would. Right is man, you need to make a good freaking like story, or at least explanation. A good explanation. What is the murder light bulb? Oh, they like offer oh, wait, the murder light they, bulb probably tastes wait, like hold on. This place also offers bonuses. Ooh. I feel like it's a trap. Nice. But yeah. It's a trap. Mm. The only ed education they want is high school or quill work. For an insur insurance agency, you only want a high school degree? I mean, yeah, there's okay, actually... That sounds... Well, there's actually a lot of jobs at some insurance firms that uh, can be run by lower level people. A lot of it can just end up being paper pushing. Does that mean they want you at a permanently low level, working lots of hours? Probably, but it yeah. It says only eight hours a day. Well, either way, like, one of my close friends, like, was working at an insurance firm in high school, like, oh. while they were in high school. And they made pretty decent money on it. Oh, wait. It's State Farm. Oh, Whoa. State. Oh, it's <gasps> State Farm? It says, we Why at State. Wait, hold on. We at State Farm are looking for a highly motivated and convincing job seeker interested in beginning a new career. This is State Farm. Right? Yeah. You really need to learn to lead with information like that. There's yeah, or like State Farm. Wait, what? I'm confused. You don't what? strangle bright. That's mean. What happened? What did I miss? You the what you didn't mention that the insurance company was State Farm. 
You got you got the worry at us. Oh. But when you brought up State Farm, then we know it's legitimate. Yeah, then we know it's not like two guys in a back alley trying to launder money. Which oh. some people do and try to say and try to make it look like an insurance company. Yeah, like if I'm not mistaken, like Dodgy Insurance Company is what like one of the top tier top tier? One of the most common, like stereotypical uh money laundering schemes. You you guys scared me for a second. You scared me because I thought I did something wrong. I was like, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> I kind of feel like you did something wrong by not telling us it was State Farm. You're just well, a dipshit. At first, it didn't say that. It didn't say the company. I had to go oh. down a bit to see what it was. So you didn't know it was State Farm? No. <laughs> how does the, how okay then in that right, case right, i think right, right okay right. i think genuine we, question you just farm jokes food what Did you right just genuine question how jokes? the fuck are you still alive talking about good what do you mean we're talking about right. State Farm that wants to hire bright oh like a good neighbor state farm wants her wait i shouldn't say like that <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> Why the child is here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what if Bright will know what's on her? The child is still here. The what? child is here. Nothing illicit. Oh. Uh. But, but, but the A. Nobody heard what no one would want right. I didn't hear it. Okay, I'm so glad. The child <laughs> didn't, right? Penguin, you didn't hear? I heard. I I didn't hear what Spood said, but I heard. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't hear what Spood said. Anyway, where are we putting this SCP? <laughs> uh, I completely forgot what SCP we're talking about. The uh, light ball that goes around murdering people that nobody knows how to stop or contain. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I said X and I hold to that. This thing. Yeah. This thing will what kill everyone. Like... <laughs> we don't. I just even picked know up a dead is. man. In a cave. What? I just picked up a dead man in a cave in a Kirby game. Oh, I guess come to think of it, come to think of it, yeah. Like, does it doesn't its locomotion necessitate like it going toward a living thing? So, like, if yeah. if it, if there's no living things nearby, it won't move. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh that changes it a touch for me. But I don't Wait, no, know. No, it doesn't move. It disappears, then reappears after three Delta events. That's right. What happens. Right. So, uh. Moving death machine. So, yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, XK. <laughs> I also agree. XK. <laughs> XK. We need a way to contain it. Get rid of the murder light bulb. Yeah, at least that thing could get stopped if you dunk it in enough acid. Oh my god. I think anything can be stopped if you dunk it in enough acid. Six, eight, Not two, this thing. Attention. Not this thing, Penguin. Not this thing. Anyway, we're ready for the next SCP. I'm getting shot at. Yeah, that's just like an average American hobby, is it not? Yeah. I mean, I, I I did dress up my GTA character girl to be wearing uh, a, 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 fuck, why am I forgetting? A, a tank top with overalls, cowboy boots, uh, brown driving gloves, and a black and pink cowboy hat. <laughs> that just means you're dressed to drive horses. I mean, ride horses. Love driving horses. That's my favorite hobby. Shut up! I miss Bo. No, no, it's a fantastic hobby. Horses. It's a fantastic hobby to have. You know, like when you get on. You know, like when you open the horse's door and you get in the horse and then you <laughs> put in the keys. Yeah, my the favorite. Horse. My favorite hobby is opening horses. Yo, holy fuck! Oh. Guys, I got. I was. 
I was trying to go find out what it, this newest next SCP's nickname is. Mm -hmm. Warning: The Foundation database is missing SCP-7000. Efforts efforts to locate relevant files are currently underway. Submissions will be tracked, analyzed, and recorded. The oh, new what? generation is coming. Oh. Cool. New That's generation cool. of SCPs, but I have no idea. I'm guessing it's gonna be something like mimetic. Is is this type of thing? Or something like that. I shoot gang members so that I can steal their coke. The soda, oh, right? Yeah. You really need soda. Yeah, it's it's, it's of course the soda. I'm not the GTA, you know. Oh, it's God. only Why ever do you soda. Need coke and not like root beer or Sprite. I hate coke. What? Root beer is so good. Wait, did they actually? Wait, I have a question. Did they actually already fill up all of all of the six thousand? Oh, that's crazy. It is. And holy shit, it's all filled. And just to remind everyone, oh, wait, no, I am not. playing. And just to remind everyone, I am playing Grand Theft Auto Five. Hence is, the Coke. It is almost completely oh, filled. Soda at all? You something something. It's like eighty five percent filled. I can't say the something something near the child. I already live in Florida, is. Jerry. I know what the something something is. You could say pop. You could say. Yeah, pop. You know. Pop is not what it is, but okay. <laughs> we need it's... to create code words to talk about illicit things when the child is here. It's oh, obviously what? you're all you're all wrong. Obviously, obviously, it's it's the riches. <laughs> It's the richest soda of choice. No, no, no. What it actually is, is I am currently... Listen, what I'm in a firefight to steal right now is... Uh, a you mean several... borrow, right? You have to be very family-friendly on Twitch. It's GTA. Yeah. I know, but we're the joke. Joke. The funny. Okay, anyway, the, the people I am currently lightly incapacitating with bullets uh, <laughs> to borrow uh, what, what I'm trying to borrow from these people that keep falling over uh, because of my uh, non-lethal deterrent that is bullets. Uh, um, I, they, uh, the thing that they're guarding is several crates of early 1900s uh, cough drops. <laughs> the thing we're censoring. That's a heavier drug. Did you Wait, know? What? Oh yeah. Did you know that early cough drops would sometimes kill children? Yeah. Well, like I'm thinking of like the the like like the cough drops that were made with the thing we're censoring. The the. The coca leaves. They, when making cough drops, they would mix like uh, sleeping things with it, and the sleeping things would sometimes have a lot of adult drinks in it as well. Okay. Totally I was safe. I was wrong, and I decided to look to see what the seven thousands are going to be based off of. I thought it was going to be something like memetics, you know, because they can't find it. No, it's based off of luck. Luck in general. Wait, what? SCP-7000 contest. contest luck. Hmm. Weird. The dictionary defines luck as a force that brings good fortune or adversity. Or, or adversity. We have a good fortune of over a decade of wonderful articles, articles content, and commentary on the site. Whether you are here by chance or fate, just know that we are lucky to have you here at the SCP Foundation. Since life is already full of chances and risks, why not try your luck for the 7,000 contest? 
okay, what we need is an SCP that just details the actual Norse concept of luck as an SCP. But yeah. Concept of luck is very complicated. That that's true, and we anyway. don't really know all about it because colonialists. Anyway, My favorite villain, colonialism. Yay! Anyway, back. Oh. Anyway, back to talking about the guys that I'm lightly incapacitating with bullets. Why don't you just call them friendly water guns? Now nah, they're yeah. bullets. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're obviously water bullets, though. No, they're just bullets. <laughs> As we all know, bullets are a non-lethal deterrent. Uh, this message was brought to you by the United States police system. <laughs> Dark. Anyway, are we ready to continue to the next SCP? Mm -hmm. Fine, ready. Okay, I'm gonna put it back then. <laughs> All right. All right. This space SCP's. I'm gonna butcher its nickname, but it is a guidus. What? A e g i d e s. Agidus. Agidus. Yeah, I was about to say this sounds Greek. Yeah. Anyway. SCP-1368 is the collective designation for a parasitic sapient species of humanoid beings composed of a thin hull layer of cont cont contagious epidermal human skin. In their natural state, SCP-1638 are off-white or beige, highly flexible, very strong, and somewhat elastic, similar in consistency and color to the shed skin of a snake. They are capable of locomoting in the same manner as a human, as well as slithering on the ground, undulating through water or fluttering on air currents. Each instance has a long vertical seam on its front and that ex which extends from its lower lip to the groin. Their structure lacks eyes, a mouth, and a groin area, having holes in, in those locations instead. They have no form of nervous cephalization instead of processing a neural net evenly distributed across their surface. They are generally unable to feel pain and do not need to breathe. When without a host, they speak with voices constant, constantly characterized as airy and whistly. An instance of SCP-1638 parasite Fuck, my, my brain fucked. It had a brain fart. Are you okay? Yeah. Parasit uh, parasit eyes. A human host by spreading open its seam and enveloping the host completely and laying over them like a second skin. Ew. They are capable of wriggling under the clothes of their host in order to gain full coverage. Once this is achieved, it its seam seals shut and it becomes nearly perfect perfectly transparent, only appearing slightly reflective on camera. SCP-1368 are capable of controlling the movements of their host to a fine degree, physically forcing their muscles from the outside. CCA-84% of all instances recovered are skilled enough in this regard to control the cardiovascular systems and voices of their host and CCA 5% of all instances recovered can control the ocular motions of their host. SCP-1368 use ho human hosts as means to their own ends, though an overall picture of their goals, if any exist, has, has yet to resolve. SCP-1368 has no specific preference for types of humans to use as hosts in any regard. What is known is that they actively attempt to resist and breach containment. Although classified as parasitic due to, to the distinctly non-mutual nature of the relationship, instances of SCP-1368 do provide some minor benefits to their host. 
They provide protection from chemical irritants as well as treatment of some acne, scabbing, and scarring that might otherwise afflict their host. Because of this, hosts may become sympathetic to the desires of SCP-1368 instances and agree to assist them. SCP-1368 obtained sustenance from dust, which is permanently composed of dead skin. If currently hosted, they may feed directly from the dead skin being shed on their host in real time. They are capable of incorporating all of the dust they consumed into their body mass, allowing them to heal from damage in a short period of time. SCP-1638 are portable to high temperatures and are particularly repulsed by fire. An instance can only be completely destroyed by incineration. Any and all remaining pieces with access to dust regenerate into duplicates of their original instance. Albeit, when diminished recollection of prior events, instances are able to hide and remain dormant for months without being detected, usually posing as discarded clothing or paper. To date, significant populations of SCP-1368 have been detected in 12 cities in the American Al Midwest, 5 cities in Greece, Cal Calcutta and Mumbai, India, Florence and Milan. Milan, Italy, Istanbul, Turkey, and Tehran, Iran. Despite attempts to contain the populations in these locations, recurrences and complete restoration are not uncommon. SCP-1368 possesses a secondary ability and a form of control over local air currents. When in distress or separated from a host, they have been observed to siphon air through their bodies and expel it from their mouths to produce white wind speeds up to 12 km per hour. In larger groups, they may produce wind speeds over 100 km per hour. SCP-1368 Interview Log 22 Interviewed SCP-1368-0325 Interviewer Dr. Ben Weir Forward SCP-1368 0325 was abnormally cooperative during recovery and agreed to speak with Foundation personnel. Begin log. SCP-1368-0325, you said that you had, reading from paper, a then story now to tell us. Man, Foundation man, now there are thousands of us, thousands and thousands, then there are a few. Yes? Hollow, we are so hollow. Thousands of hollow man needing dust, delicious dust. You, solid man, you create delicious dust we want to feed. Are you? Can't hear them, but I feel them. Feel now in, in the skin. Redacted hollow man are hunting dust, hiding from you, Foundation. Hiding from the hunters. You, solid Foundation man. No solid man out of the, out of the glass. No solid man outside the outside who have knives and flames. We now, they hide from you. Hear me, feel them, I tell you. We then in my home place redacted. Many of the disparaged, bad-mouthed hollow man arrived from a away place. Solid friends, my friends worry. Friends have a groovy idea. Friends and I, we meet, meet and greet in ages. The hollow man name for hollow man takes many tries trying to change, but... Now we friends and I are safe. We then are part of a majority. Hello man, lifestyle is pleasant. Glad, 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 happy. Redacted, then is hungry. Now there's always plenty to eat. Happy hello man, fulfilled and safe man. But I think I still think and know solid man right, rightness. Solid man originality. Hello man now. Just many disparage solid man when they then are one solid man. Am I correct then in assuming that you were you were originally human? Foundation man, you hit it on the nose, man. No skin off my nose. I know, joke. Then you say there is dust. Now where is it? I just need to live a little, Foundation man. End log. SCP-1368-0325 was remanded to standard containment, research into cognitive processes and communicative abilities of SCP-1368 instances as well as investigation into the described events in the town of Redacted are underway. And there you go, that's SCP-1368. 
kind of horrifying. I don't know. Like, I don't find them that horrifying. Like, they it it didn't say that there was any like. Are are there like actual negative effects on a person? No. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm saying the concept that they were human, meaning something oh. them into that and is hunting them. That is terrifying. Yeah. Although that hunting prob might refer to the SCP. It didn't sound like that. They didn't sound like they were saying the SCP did that, but that they were hiding from the people who did that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I could guess it. Either way, um, this is this is one of those situations where it's very understandable why it's here, because there's no way we're going to contain all these things, but simultaneously they hurt hardly anyone. Like, I mean, maybe they don't themselves. hurt anyone at all besides get hurt. Yeah, like the the biggest thing that's the problem is a violation of bodily autonomy. But like 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 they're still a parasite, but they're a barely harmful parasite, if at all. Right, that mostly takes care of the people, but also takes away the bodily autonomy. But also yeah. the human, what happened? I don't so, know. I'd say certain groups. Yeah. It, or, like, certain groups will be affected by it. I don't think any humans are going to get killed by these things. That's fair. Like, they just want to go, you know, they, they just want to go around, eat the dust, eat, eat the dead skin. You know, they, they're just doing their thing. Yummy. They're... My favorite snack is dried dead flesh. What the fuck? Of animals. Jerky. Favorite food is jerky. Mm hmm I love I love jerky, honestly. But I don't think jerky is skin. It's technically dried flesh. Yeah, fair point. You said dried dead flesh. That's jerky. I right. got shot. I I got I got lightly incapacitated with bullets because I made a whole bunch of people's cars go uh up in lights. Yeah, we'll say it like that. Anyway, the next SCP has a really funny name. The Utter West. The what? The Utter West. The Utter West. Okay. It's a nickname. I'm guessing it has to do with cows. Cowboy cow. We'll find out. SCP-1372 is a geodesic segment located along redacted longitude and extending from Redacted to Redacted Latitude. Ships crossing SCP-1372 while traveling from west to east do not suffer any ill effects. Though D-Class personnel used in tests of this nature have reported a compulsion to look west, lasting approximately 6 hours, and a strong desire to turn around and sail back. After testing, it has been determined that if a ship turns around and sails across SCP-1372, before exiting the boundary of Zone 1372 Alpha, no ill effects are observed beyond continuation of the aforementioned psychological effects. When a ship approaches SCP-1372 from the east, traveling west, observers on board the ship will observe a termination of the horizon at a closer distance to their ship, directly west than in any other direction at closer range, the horizon appears to have a physical point of termination, corresponding to what observers describe as an edge of the Earth. This effect is visible from any point within Zone 1372 Alpha other than 
the cognizance of the edge and a mid curiosity as to what it looks like closer up. No psychological effects are noticed at this stage. Further approach increases the perception of the age within zone 1372 Bravo. Subjects experience a minor compulsion to continue in spite of the perceived or communicated dangers and will resist attempts to change their course. This effect becomes more pronounced within zone 1372 Charlie, and even after removal, subjects will attempt to build or procure a ship and continue towards SCP-1372 regardless of the time of separation and in spite of all curative attempts. A small number of subjects appear to be immune to these effects, though it is currently not understood why. Any ship that crosses SCP-1372 will disappear from the forms of visual contact. GPS monitoring uh, abruptly cuts off once the ship crosses it completely. Observers report that the bow of the ship tips down upon crossing SCP-1372 and that the ship appears to descend. However, Remote observation does not observe the same effects. No personnel have been successfully recovered after crossing SCP-1372. And remote pros do not appear to function properly. Thus, the nature of the area entered by ships crossing SCP-1372 is not yet fully understood. All it is currently known is inferred from analysis and eyewitness supports concerning instances of SCP-1372-1. On occasion, sailing ships will emerge from SCP-1372. These are collectively designated as SCP-1372-1. Observation of these vessels has shown that the sails are tattered or missing, and engines are corroded beyond usability. In at least five cases, the rudder of the ship has been observed to have been destroyed, and in one instance of SCP-1372-1 was found with a large hole below the waterline. It is currently unknown how instances are able to sail. To date, over 50 instances of SCP-1372-1 have been observed and contained by the, S by the Foundation, redacted of which correspond to ships reported missing in the region or which are observed to cross SCP-1372 previously. When boarded, all instances of SCP-1372-1 are found to, con to contain data expunged. Fall and s following an incident 1372-1, no attempts are to be made to communicate with any entity on board of an instance of, of SCP-1372-1. Note, following incident SCP, but following incident 1372-3, it is apparent that the, the effects of SCP-1372 extend not to only any type of sailing vessel, but also to aircraft which cross the geodesic segment. Containment procedures will be modified accordingly. No testing of any kind involving flying vehicles may be performed on SCP-1372 to, to their heightened speed and mobility. It is highly undesirable that there be any possibility of flying instance, instance of SCP-1372-1 being created. There you go. Mm. Bermuda Triangle. Except it's just a line. Yep. Wonderful. Bermuda uh, line angle. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bermuda sector. Oh, no, that's not the term. It's been so long since I was in geometry. Let's just... I'd say certain groups. Yeah. You have to be in a plane. You have to be in a boat. To be affected by this thing. Well, most people don't cross giant sea things. Yeah. Did you just say giant sea things of doom? <laughs> <laughs> Ignore spood. It's too late. Spood has already been taken into account. Spood, do you want to say anything else? We're talking about SCPs. All right. Asleep, aren't you? Okay. Are we ready for the next SCP? 
I should probably go to get ready for bed. All right. See you, Jerry. Night. Night. Take care. See ya. As well. All right. We're ready for the next SCP. How many more SCPs do you plan for? Them? Probably just one more after this one. So two. Yeah. How much easier would it be say to say just two more? No. Anyway, are we ready? Your impracticality disgusts me. I see the SCP's nickname above it, the one I'm not reading, which is just literally called Laser Shark Fetuses. That's his nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that one. We're not. Re oh, I can read that off stream. Okay, read that one off stream. I I have to hear what laser shark fetuses is about. All right, but the one we're reading is preparation. Thirteen seventy four. SCP-1374 is a text-based phenomenon that appears to specifically affect at least five structures used for human interaction with anomalies at any given time. Within these affected buildings, persons that have worked with anomalous objects as defined by Foundation Protocol 01 Black for a time period greater than one year will randomly encounter SCP-1374 within the structure. SCP-1374 will manifest as a short as short sentences or phrases that will appear through a variety of media, including spray paint on walls, handwritten notes, and inserted sentences in official re reports. The phenomenon only affects buildings that actively interact with anomalous objects. If a structure inf infected with SCP-1374 becomes inactive or ceases work with anomalies for a time period of greater than 10 days, SCP-1374 will no longer affect the building and will begin manifesting in a different active state. Furthermore, the nature and tone of, of SCP-1374's messages appears to vary widely between the structures. Due to this, it is currently speculated that five iterations of SCP-1374, hereby designated as SCP-1374-A through E, are responsible for the for these infections. Additionally, each iteration appears to favor a specific uh, group of interest and will reappear in a different structure used by the group if an, an infected building becomes inactive. Three of the five sites known have been infected with SB-1374 are controlled by the Foundation. The other two, under justification of GOI-016, the Global Cult Coalition, and GOI-132, Marshall, Marshall, Carter, and Dark LTD. Alright. And as for the messages for A, taken from the documentation of SB Redacted, it is to be kept in humanoid containment chamber, hash Hashtag 423 at, at uh, number 423 at all times because that's obviously the smart thing to do, right? Make it angry at you. God, why is why isn't everyone dead yet due to your buffoonery? The bees message taken from the documentation of incident report Rho Omega was killed during the recovery of the object, but this isn't doesn't mean we should stop trying. People live, people die, but that's okay. It's all for the greater good. John, trust me, don't let this scare you. You'll be fine. For C, taken from the documentation of SCP-096. Weekly checks and for any cracks or holes are mandatory. There is no absolute there is to be no absolute no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP-096 cell. As such personnel must physically enter into the entity cell at least once one time per week in order to check that. SP-096 remains in containment. From D's message, taken from the documentation of Redacted, which will satiate your needs without making you go out all the way, way to help anyone else. What a wonderful 
brought it for a horrible person. Master Marshall would surely cordially invite you to purchase this item just to give it away to someone more deserving. But you wouldn't do that, would you? And E's message, unknown. So oh. that's the that's the SCP. It's just an anomaly that sends sarcastic whips to places that have anomalies. Yep. Right, so this is boot tier. I don't think I need to give a justification. <laughs> it's not a joke either. I mean, like, I mean, it's a very serious anomaly, you know. They're 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 trying to they're doing their civic duty by being a sarcastic piece of shit. <laughs> you know, just just like just like all of the anti theists on Twitter, you know. They're they're doing their they're doing their civic duty by. I think I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this monster truck so fucking hard to drive? Alright. The last SCP of the night is Extinguishing uh, Steli. I, I think I said that right. It's S-T-E-L-E. Steli. All right. This script, uh, SCP-1427 is a featureless 14 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters beryllium bronze uh, stealing. Though originally recovered in an inactive state, the artifact presently produces a directional electromagnetic pulse every 7 ns. Disrupting or jamming the pulse reduces, but does not eliminate the artifact's primary effects. The device's electromagnetic effects are therefore theorized to be a carrier wave for or side effect of the dev device primary function. Targets are selected randomly from the 20,736 nearest human subjects, ignoring those already exhibiting the effects of the pulse, but including those who are immune. The device appears to have no effective maximum range. On several occasions, the device has exhibited the ability to make over the horizon broadcasts to otherwise occluded subjects by deflecting its signal off of the Earth's inosphere. There are artifact means of detecting human consciousness, and the recursive mechanism underlying its effects are pres presently unknown. Upon receipt of the signal, subjects currently experience increased suggestibility, severe abilia, and short-term memory loss. These effects are sec secondary to the artifact's primary effect, which is a substantial reduction in prefrontal SQ2 signal. Due to the information recovered from SCP Redacted, Foundation Reser researchers presently believe that this reduced SQ2 signal responds to a significant reduction in or total destruction of the subject's subjective consciousness. Moderate authoritarian submissive personality traits appear to provide additional immunity to the effects of the broadcast. Accordingly, since its activation, containment protocols have required placement in high population distribute areas subject to a totalitarian government. SCP-1427 was originally recovered from a Cistercian monastery in southeastern Algeria by Italian Special Forces in January of 1938. Laboratory notes from the period mention of a rhodium carbide outer casing in embossed with lettering in a known but poorly characterized Semitic alphabet. The outer casing is presumed to have been destroyed or lost by Italian researchers. Before the objects transferred to Leipzig in 1944. Between 1938 and 1944, the governments of Germany and Italy attempted to activate the artifact both 
without success in the immediate aftermath of World War II. The object was kept in East German custody. The East German government took no recorded action with, with respect to the artifact. In 1947, the East German government transferred SV-1427 to Soviet control. He moved it to Kishtim Telebiskik Oblast USSR. In September of 1957, Soviet researchers intentionally activated SCP-1427, though the art artifact affected human targets and its median surroundings. Then existing features of the Soviet government prevented the EK class end of the world uh, end of human consciousness. After attempted nuclear sterilization of the affected area, the Soviet government contacted the Foundation through intergovernmental license and the artifact was transferred to Foundation custody at Site 67, southwest of Cherniv 5, Ukraine. Since initial containment, the artifact has only been transferred once in 1986 due to predicted instability in the Soviet government. The artifact was transferred to the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Shortly thereafter, the foundation Korea? shortly thereafter, the foundation commenced construction of Ryugyong containment facility, where the object has been stored since its completion in 1988. This this is an SCP based off that tower North Korea was trying to build. You know that that weird pyramid shaped thing? Yeah. That's what it is. That's based the SCP. Off of, based off of the weird pyramid shaped tower Korea wanted to make. Yep. And it's but god it's goddamn XK. Yeah, well, well EK. Which is end of the end of human consciousness. Wouldn't that just be another form of XK? It is. It's <laughs> it's technically the other forms like TK, EK, CK. They are part of XK, but also separate at the same time. Don't question it. <laughs> Sounds like the Trinity. Yeah. Just gonna let that joke sit there for a second. <laughs> so the Trinity of... Trinity of... Yeah. World ending shit. <laughs> Trinity of fucking over humanity in some capacity. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, that wait, that also trick. <laughs> I'm a dick. Yeah. So where do we think of putting this? It's it it could possibly cause an EK, which as you said, is a classification of XK slash is also separate from XK. Either way, it can completely end human consciousness. Yeah. And it's in the hands of North Korea. Oh, yeah, because, because that's the only place that's currently safe enough to contain it. Yeah. Because the, the thing that keeps it from doing the whole end human consciousness is people being subject to a totalitarian regime. Yeah. Which I remember also, like, in some of the additional documentation, uh, had SCP uh, people um, kind of questioning the morality of whether or not they should be trying to sustain the totalitarian nature of North Korea in hopes of keeping this thing contained and then like having conversations about like like the, the, the SCP Foundation should we even be allowed to do something like that to, to keep an entire massive country of people in political subjugation <laughs> an interesting it's an interesting concept in, in my humble opinion as fucked as it is uh, the greater good is keeping all humanity safe so Even if that means at the expense of uh, all the people in North Korea. I mean, if you also think about it, they also did mass ge uh, genocide in, in Japan. 
with well, the emotion. You see the the emotion. <laughs> well, you see the difference is that's not the greater good because <laughs> you didn't need to. It's just emojis. People could not stop talking in emojis. <laughs> oh no, the emojis! They're gonna, they're, they're gonna, they, oh no! Have you seen the emoji movie? That's a plague <laughs> on humanity. <laughs> I always saw it uh, at like the very beginning of it, and I was like, I'm walking out. <laughs> I'm watching this. <laughs> Excuse me as I throw, uh. It, it, um, so, some uh, firecrackers, yeah, let's say firecrackers, uh, onto car dealerships' cars and run from the. F Wait, right. there were several crimes in that statement. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, uh, Louis last uh, error four hundred four. Last words. Go. Um, like, subscribe, please support Bright on Kofi if you can, and Bright is a bird. Gosh damn it. Anyway, uh, ping, uh, lesbian of penguins, go. Remember. Remember that Pengu sees all. Pengu is an omnipotent being that sees all, and you will you you should praise Pengu. Pengu ain't better than Telly Willet. All right. Yes, I will start. I will start a religious war in this server. Pengu versus Tele, whatever the fuck. Telly Oilet, get it right. Telly you Penguin, Telly Oilet, no. Anyway, or, um. Hey, Heretic. priests of the almighty Teleoilet, go. Say my name correctly, you fuckface. I said, hi, priest of the almighty Teleoilet. No, as in my actual name. That's my current title. Again, this is this is the thing that I joked about at the at the start, where you basically... Okay, Snolly Gulag, go. I goddamn hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Snolly Gonder, go. <laughs> and remember, kids... Uh, catch me next time. Currently running from the feds. Uh, message me after the beep. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, anyway, D class, I hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you guys next time for your next experiment.